Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome in to the Alpine F1 driver career. We are now in the midway point of the season, and that means we have a contract renewal. Okay? Okay. So let's go and renegotiate, because of course, the Alpine road to glory career. We're going to try and see if we can get glory with Alpine, but for that, we need them to flip and give us a good contract, okay? So let's renegotiate. Let's approach the team, and hey, they're going to tell us, accept it! Yes! Okay, what now? What do we do now, guys? We have three demands that we can do. Honestly, I feel like the high risk is a little bit for what? $80,000? Who, who cares about $80,000? I think we should go medium or low, but let me know in the chat. If we want to continue with Alpine, right? I feel like we deserve 2.2 million, especially after how well we've done, okay? But let me know. What do you think? Should we go low or medium? What do you reckon? Low or medium? It's only 80000 guys. It's only, uh, you know... It's only uh, a big amount. <laughs> what are you guys saying? Low, 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 medium, medium. I feel like we've done very good, though. We are, of course, for those of you who don't know, we're P3 in the championship. So, or P2 even. So I feel like we deserve a medium. So I feel like we deserve a medium. Um, I think we do. I think we do. Hi, hi. You guys are really saying hi right now. You guys are really saying hi. I don't I don't think we I don't think we should do that guys. I don't think we should do that. All right. Let's let's see what we're going to do right here. Should we go high risk or should we go medium risk? Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to find out, but I want to know in the chat right now, what do you think we should do here? Renegotiating with Alpine, I believe we also earn, we have earned that high risk reward. Everybody's saying hi. Okay then. We will go high. Will we continue? With Alpine on high. The client! What the flip is this? I don't want to go to another team. Okay, advance the time. Okay, we're about to do We can do it again. We can do it again. And now we get less money! Medium. We have to do medium, right? We have to do medium, right? We have to do medium. We have to do medium. Okay, here we go. Come on now. This has to be good. Yes! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have been signed once again, but we deserve more. We deserve more right here. I'm telling you now, we deserve more. But we have been signed by Alpine to continue this season and to get some more money in the bank. And we are going to use that money because we have the money. Look, right here, we can spend the monies. We have 460,000 monies. And now we can see what we can upgrade it on. I'm thinking we should upgrade it on power mapping. Engine wear will be reduced by 10%. Or we go and spend it on the development feedback. So we get more R&D points. What do you think? Should we go power mapping or should we go development feedback? It's up to you. Get yourself involved in the chat. Uh, remember, you being here at the start of the show today, that means you have the exclusive choice. Okay? The exclusive choice. But we went for medium and we got the, we got the job. So uh, that's nice. What are you guys saying? Power mapping? Power mapping? Power mapping both? We can't do both, right? No, we can't because we have, don't have enough money. We, we need 20,000 more. So we can either do one or, or two. We're not going to do the social media team because that's not good. That's not good for us. Uh, you guys saying development feedback, development, development, power mapping, power mapping, power, power, power. Ooh, a lot of power. Okay, we'll go power then. 
230,000. And then we have 230,000 left. And we cannot do any more upgrades. So let's continue. And let's go and get ready for the Hungarian Grand Prix. But before we do anything, we will spend some more upgrades on the car. Because we have R&D points. And we have a lot of them. So what we're going to do is I think we should do a few upgrades on the aerodynamics. I'm thinking wing mirrors and maybe even the halo as well. Because we have enough points to do both. So you know what? Oh, we can even get it before the Hungarian Grand Prix. That's going to be very useful because we need a very quick car in the corner. So let's do our best here. Let's go rush. And then we will go Halo. And we can even rush that one as well. And then we're going to get it. We're going to get it before the Hungarian Grand Prix. Come on. Yes. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it right now. We'll do it. Beautiful. So we've done everything now. We've done, we've done everything. To update you on where we are in the standings, 135 points in, 55 points behind of Charles Leclerc. We're P2 in the championship right now. And we're going to try and close in to the top of the field to, uh, you know, fight for the championship this season. We need to change our engine as well in the meantime. 69% on this engine. So we're going to try and change it back to a 0% one, right? And then for this one, 28% is okay. 49% we don't really want that much. So we're going to go back to a 0% uh, one. 15% is okay on this one. 41% is high. So we're going to go for uh, a newer one there too. 28% is okay. 52% is too high. So we're going to go for this one too. So we've changed a few of the engines. Not all of them, but a few of them. And um, that should be uh, very beneficial for us in uh, Hungary and then Belgium as well. Right? Belgium as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, advance the time and see if those upgrades come in. We have three upgrades that could come in right here or they could fail. How many of the upgrades do you think will come in nicely? How many of, How many do you think will fail? Let me know in the chat right now. I'm thinking one of them is going to fail. Two of them are going to work. Let me know what you think. We have three upgrades. If all of them work... We're cooking. We're absolutely cooking. But a warm welcome if you're joining in right now. Victor! Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. All right. All three complete. Okay. If you believe, I believe. Three, two, one. Boom. No. Okay. That's the first one. Come on. Next one. Next one. Oh, we have a department, a marketing department event in the meantime. What is this? Ask the drivers. Decline. Shut up. You handled that well. Thank you. Thank you. We will see what we are going to get with the other ones. Three, two, one. No. Oh, what is this? Oh, are you serious? Uh, two of them the failed. Alright, which one do we do next then? This one? This one was a big one, I believe. Yeah, we need this one because the chassis is the worst. So we need a better chassis. The rear floor under tray. Then we don't have enough money to do the other upgrade, which is a shame. But uh, at least have one come in, man. At least have one come in, please. Bro, what is this? Three upgrades. They all failed. Are you serious? Are you serious? Three upgrades. What is this? We have no upgrades. Literally zero. Nada nachos. Oh my goodness. Well. <laughs> well, that's li it's looking good. It's looking very good. Let's skip in advance. Let's go to the race weekend. It's round 12 of Hangaro Ring. For those of you who don't know, we are now 12 rounds into our F1 career after, of course, becoming the champion in Formula 2. Tombina Brower has been doing her best. And, uh, you know, so far, very well. P2 in our first season. It's like Lewis Hamilton all over again. You know? It's like Lewis Hamilton. He is doing well. But we uh, are going to go and get ourselves into the practice one session, do a few laps, and then straight away into the qualifying and the race. There's not going to be any rain. At least that's what they're expecting there to be. So let's go to practice one and let's go and do some driving, driving, driving. Here we go. In Magyar Nagajigaji, indeed. A track where um, downforce is really important. We were going to have a lot more, more downforce after that. Um, you know, after those upgrades, but that's not really going to happen right now. So that's a shame. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, they put something in the car. Through the car. Nag Magyar Nagajigaji. Exactly. Exactly. You're wasting wear on a new engine? Oh, you're right. Well, <laughs> too late now. <laughs> too late. Too I've late. Wait, actually, maybe we don't even have it yet. Parts, no, look, we don't even have it yet. We still have the old engine parts, you see? The They're not yet on. They're still pending. They're not yet fitted, so that's nice. We don't, we're don't. we not using the new engine parts yet, which is good. 
that is good all right so let me see if i have a setup right here we should have one hungary that's old uh all right you know what i'll make a new one i'll make a new one real quick i'll make a new one um, and then we will go and get ourselves started straight away. A warm welcome for joining in right here. It's great to be here to the show of today. We are um, just about getting ourselves started with the first race, but we're doing two races today, ladies and gents. Two races. I'm just quickly putting in the setup, and then we are going to get ourselves started. Uh, there we go. Uh, with the uh, with the first race yesterday was um, absolutely amazing because we had some insane races Unfortunately, the last race was cut short really <laughs> cut short and we had to do it again But the first race in Austria was absolutely incredible. I I don't know where we actually finished in that one was it P3 right we didn't get we got on the podium. I believe Guys my, my flipping goldfish memory doesn't go longer than one day. I already forgot what we did yesterday <laughs> I already forgot what we did yesterday uh, Alright, let's put this like this. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, cool. Let's go and get ourselves out on track then. Medium tires. Oh, actually, we're on the hard tires right now. Boom. There we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Don't push the car just let's yet. Let's set Try it. Still green. Try to take it easy for the first couple of laps. P3 in the first race yesterday. Yeah, we, so we got the win. We got the win in the sprint race. Because yesterday there was a sprint race as well. I believe Belgium is a sprint race too, right? Or is that... Is that... Uh, am I mistaken there? I believe when I was there this year in Belgium. No, there was a sprint race. There was a sprint race, right? So you're going to have even more racing today, today once again. There will be a sprint race if there is a sprint race in, uh, in Belgium too. But there's no sprint race in Hungary. That is for a fact hole. Someone subscribe, please, so we can hear Tom sing. <laughs> Yesterday we sang a lot. Thanks to all of you legends. I don't think it's in the game, but not sure. Ooh, okay. Well, well, we'll find out. We'll find out very soon. Here we are then, on the track, ladies and gents. Exploring the track of Hungary. A track that I'm normally pretty decent at. I'm normally pretty decent that, but I also believe the uh, competition is quite fierce around um, around Hungary. Well, let's see how it's gonna go. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! If you go and watch the F1, what are you looking for in terms of view uh, for the track? So. If you are looking to get maybe uh, go to like an F1 Grand Prix someday in your life, uh, some things I can always recommend looking for in terms of grandstand tickets uh, is uh, turn one. Turn one is always good, right? But they are also most of the times the most expensive tickets, turn one. Um, the best tickets are when you're in turn one, right? Or when you have a view of turn one, but you also have a view of the pit lane. So for example, in Las Vegas, I was seated in the main grandstand uh, opposite of the pit lane but i could also see turn one very well so then you have right you can see the pit stops you can see like everything happening in the pit lane even when there's nothing happening right there's no race you can still see them all preparing and stuff um you can even see the grid and then you can see turn one as well so that's like the best uh spots or um right you can also pick a turn on the track where uh, normally there are a lot of overtakes uh, at this track, at Hungary, there's not too many overtaking spots, so... Uh, it is a bit tougher to find a, you know... A seat where you can see a lot of action. Oh my god, I forgot my flipping wa watch! I feel so empty, guys! Wait, let me quickly get my watch. <laughs> let me quickly get my watch. I feel so empty without my watch. Oh my goodness, bro, I just noticed. It's like, look how white it is as well. Look, look, look at this, guys. Look, look, look at... Oh, my God. I'm sorry for your ears. Look at this. Look at that, bro. You can see I went on vacation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, 
All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> His watch stand line is brighter than my future. <laughs> yeah, very bright. Very, very bright. Wait, let me quickly do this. In the meantime, we had called these. Yo, welcome to the family. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Oh my god, my god, my god. Legendary. Thank you so much, Coldies, for coming in with a nine month resub. That means we have a baby. Tombies. Tombies. That's a good name for the baby, I think. Uh, Connor, take you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Here we are, then. We are at the Momento in the practice session getting ourselves into some good laps or at least right now was a kind of a almost a formation lap <laughs> it wasn't that quick we are quickest though with a 119.1 let's see what the what the difficulty is like i put it down to 103 for this race because normally they are very very good at uh hungary let's see how we do in this practice session we can put it up I'll put it back to 105 if it is um, if, it, if it is too easy, but let's see. Curly, we're purple. Purple, purple, purple. I haven't seen a single episode of this, but I'm here for it. All right, well, let me go and uh, tell you where we are in our career. For those of you who are brand new or maybe just joined in, we are in uh, round 12, but you haven't missed uh, well, you have missed a lot, but at the same time, it doesn't matter because um, you can go in at any point. I will, uh, I will regularly update on what has happened. So far, we have finished the Formula 2 season as Tombina Brower. If you want to know how she looks, I'm going to show you right now. This is Tombina Brower, right here. She is my sister. She is, as you can see, as sexy as me, all right? Um, but she is the driver that... Um, is trying to go through to Formula 1 as an all PD Academy driver, and she did! Well, she became the F2 champion. Now, we are in F1 in our 12th round, and we are upgrading the car like crazy. We've done some really good results so far, and we're now P2 in the championship. P2 in the championship. And we're trying to, um, you know, fight for the championship, see if we can bring glory to Alpine, and that is where we are. We have a car that um, needs some upgrades as quick as possible. We had a lot of upgrades coming in this race, but unfortunately, all of them failed. <laughs> Literally all of them failed. We had three upgrades and all of them failed. So that was not great. But we're in the practice session right now. We're going to do two races today. We're going to do the Hungary Grand Prix and we're going to do the Belgium Grand Prix. One of my favorite Grand Prix, uh, the Belgium Grand Prix. So hopefully it will be quick. They are the same. That's because we have the same genes, right? That is because we have the same genes. Very, very easy. As we go into third here. Into fourth. We are purple in the middle sector. As we get quicker and quicker, slowly but surely. Alright, go on, Tom. Let's see what we can do. Actually, let's put on the... Not overtake mode, but let's put on the hot lap mode. And let's do a quick lap. And then I think it's time to go and get started with the... Uh, with the qualifying session, ladies and gents. Here we go then, into third gear. In the meantime, if you're joining in just now, warm, warm, welcome! What the flip is this? Oh my god! Well, that's the great start of the weekend. <laughs> no! Uh, box this lap, box this lap. Our best lap so far is no, 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 no. Ay, 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 ay. Well, that was definitely a hot lap. It was very hot. The tires were too hot. Too hot. We just lost it out of the turn. For no reason. I guess we went onto the throttle a little bit too hard there, but... That was a bit, uh, a bit sketchy. Alright, box this lap. Box this lap. So our best lap so Are far you is listening to me? Hello? Box this lap. Okay, we'll Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Without a front wing, this is definitely not the Grand Prix to do. Because uh, at Hungary, you need almost maximum wings. It's really, really um, hard to uh, drive with damage over here. Because you need maximum downforce at this track. Dr. Bobo, as well as Hen. Uh, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. 
If you haven't yet hit that follow button and you're enjoying yourself already thinking, Tom, what the flip are you doing? We better do better. Then make sure you hit that follow button. You do not want to miss out whatsoever. Tomorrow, we predict the Bahrain Grand Prix in the game uh, with the 2024 F1 cars. I'm going to download the mods. So we have the 2024 F1 liveries in the game. And then uh, basically where everybody's going to finish, it's going to be the prediction for Bahrain, which should be a lot of fun too. But... Uh, we're back in the pits. I'm, I'm thinking we're literally just going to do one run on soft tire to see what our pace is like. And then we can adjust the AI from there. Uh, either we keep it here or we, or we up it a little bit. Uh, to, you know. Um, maybe we put it back on one under the five. Let's see. I, th I feel like we have pretty good pace. I think we have pretty good pace. As warm as you're tired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very hot. <laughs> very, very hot. Oh, my goodness. We need to wait for the front wing damage as well. We're not going to wait. Don't worry. Uh, all right. Here we go, then. Uh, let's put... Uh, let's go and put minimum fuel in. Right? So, we'll put, like... Let's put six kilos of fuel, you know? Sandbagging by one kilogram. <laughs> Sandbagging by one kilogram. And then uh, we'll go out on track right here for one final time to get ready. Is there any Tombina merch? There is not, no, but there is any, there is some Tom merch. But unfortunately, it is not for sale. Okay, engine's fired up. We're set. You can only get the Tom merch, the Tom hats, if uh, if you find me at an event and, I, and I'm carrying the hat with me. <laughs> then I'll give it to you. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, bringing some uh, hats to, uh, to Bahrain, actually. So if anybody is in Bahrain at the Grand Prix, I'm sure Ben and me can see if we can organize like a, a short meetup or whatever at the at the track, um, and then whoever finds me first gets the head. F2 preseason was literally boring. It was indeed. If you haven't seen, ladies and gents, in Formula Two, there was literally rain in Bahrain. Um, and I saw actually that the day I go to Bahrain, it's raining as well. On Wednesday, I travel to Bahrain, but in the morning it's raining. I'm arriving in the evening, so I think I'm gonna miss the rain, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it, it's literally raining uh, on Wednesday in Bahrain again. But it's not raining during the weekend, so we're not gonna have any rain in Bahrain. Yep, I know the word jokes are amazing, but there's, there's not looking to be a rain in the. Uh, in in the weekend right here. All right, here we go then. We are on the soft tires right now, getting our tires warmed up at the moment. You can see we're still P1 on those medium tires. We're gonna go and put hot lap mode on, and we're gonna see how quick we can go for reals. Here we go then for our last lap in the Hungarian Grand Prix track. I call it Magyar Nagyjigigi. Any Hungarian will say Tom, you suck at pronouncing it, but it's okay. Here we go then, into the first turn, into third gear, then we go straight up the fourth, and this time around we don't lose the car. Very well, we learn, we learn. Then we break right before the 50 meter board, go into third gear, keep the car rolling. Oh man, this car is planted onto the track. Back into fifth. In the fourth, and we're purple in the first sector at the moment. We're purple in the first sector at the moment. Oh, a little bit white. We can definitely gain some more time here. Use all the track. Got to the inside. Use a little bit of the inside here too. And leave a little bit of time on the table as we go wide. But it's not too shabby at the moment. Almost full throttle. A little bit of a lift. Oh, look at that. We are absolutely hooked to the lap, guys. Absolutely hooked to the lap. 1.9 seconds up. As we go back at the third gear. Come on now, Tom. 3, 2, 1. Over the line. It's going to be a P1 by 2.2 seconds. You know what? Right here, right now. Let's... No, I don't want a tutorial. What is this? Why is he giving me tutorial? Retire. Boom. I think it is enough. It is okay. Boom! I think we're ready. Ladies and gents, put a number one in the chat if you think Tom. We are ready to go. Number two, if you think no, Tom, you still... You still... Suck. Yeah. What do we think? What do we think? We parked it up on the side of the road. That was not the plan, to be honest. I was going to go back into the pits, but... 
But I think we look good. And it was a tidy lap. Couple of, uh, you know, little uh, thingies to improve on. But we're 1.8 seconds faster than P2. Okay, we're going to definitely put that AI up a little bit. We are definitely putting that AI up a little bit. I'm thinking... I've got it, I put it down from 105 to 103. Let's put it up to 106. Uh, that should be good uh, right here. Yesterday we were very slow on uh, on uh, on 105, so we shouldn't go crazy, right? Let's put 106 right here. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Uh, for practice two, we're gonna go and just do the quick practice right here because we need some R and D points, right? We need some R and D points, and then we'll do the. Uh, uh, the qualifying straight away will literally take 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, never mind. This way it's going to take longer. Come on now. Give me the points. We need some points. There we go. Beautiful. Give me some more. Come on. There we go. And more. Okay, never mind. 70% success and it still fails. Okay, there we go. Now it's perfect. Okay, we don't have more time, so we'll do practice three and we'll do the, the track acclimatization there too. You selected tutorials. Yeah, for some reason, this joystick on my wheel, sometimes I misclick in it. Uh, it's like, it's really sensitive. Like, sometimes it like goes up and then clicks. Like, because the click is the click and then up is... Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm rambling. All right. Practice three. Boom, track acclimatization. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then this one. Looks good. Looks good. A warm walk in the meantime for those of you who are joining in right now. It's time now that we get started with the qualifying. We get a lot of R&D points right there alongside with our teammates. That's nice. And we actually can go and um, I think redo some of the upgrades that failed earlier. It's going to be very important. Uh, and it's going to be very sunny here. So that's nice as well. I believe it was aerodynamic upgrades. Yeah, look at that. Wing mirrors plus. Oh, we can redo both of them. Oh, uh, they're both going to come in after the Belgium Grand Prix. So we're not going to have those uh, those aerodynamic upgrades that we were that we were looking for. And they are really going to help us a lot. Because as you can see in the vertical comparison over there, we are going to be in front of McLaren. Close to Ferrari after that one in the aerodynamics department uh, specifically. All right, on to Chevy. Hopefully those upgrades will come in nicely. Let's get ready to go though for qualifying and to refresh your memory. At the moment, we are 55 points behind of Charles Leclerc. And uh, yeah, it's a big gap, but I think we can definitely close that in. Especially if Charles Leclerc has a bad race. So far, last few races, we have done better except for the British Grand Prix. But before that, the two races before, we did do better. <laughs> All right, let's do it again then. Here we go. Tell your cat, tell your dog, tell your future grandkids that we are getting started with qualifying with a very cool shot right here uh, for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Sebas, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. Welcome in. Hi, Tom. Hi, what's up? Welcome in. All right, so... Let's... Um Let's put the minimum amount of fuel in the car. Uh, I'm thinking about doing two runs right here, right? Two runs. So we have put five kilos in the car. Uh, I'm going to put this brand new set of soft zone. And then I think we're doing one run. And then we're going to go back into the pits. And we're doing another one. So we have a, uh, you know, a little bit of a banker. And then the big one. The big one. Let me know in the chat. Which position do you think we are going to get here? In the qualifying session of Hungaro Ring. Uh, the track that I've been to twice now. The only track, actually, the only Grand Prix I visited twice. I visited it once with my parents and another time with Alpine. Uh, once I was in turn one, which was a really good spot, right? Can recommend. And uh, the second time I was in the paddock, which is a very good spot as well. Can recommend. <laughs> but uh, that was the only ever, only time so far I've been in the paddock uh, uh, the whole weekend. Uh, that was absolutely it. Epic, absolutely epic. All right, so um, let's go and get the, ourselves out on track right here. Let's do the first lap. You guys saying P11, P5, P6, P4. Let's see. Yes, indeed, Rocket Lizo. Grab a popcorn, grab a milkshake. Let's go. Uh, no more holidays for you now. No more holidays for me now. Well, well, you, you don't you don't count Bahrain Grand Prix as a holiday, but it is fun, right? 
I'll do some streams over there as well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have put the entirety of the schedule already in the Discord. So if you haven't yet joined the Discord, exclamation mark Discord uh, in the chat. Uh, and then the link will pop up to the Discord. You'll be able to join the Discord on there and then you can see the entirety of the schedule up until... Uh, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, so you know when we go live, uh, I am going to be planning the streams in Bahrain, right, uh, later, because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do in Bahrain yet, but, um, yeah, it should be good fun. Alright, here we go, out on track we are, we are using a little bit too much of the ERS, so we're going to put it off, we're going to turn it off, I'm going to warm up those tires, we have a really good spot on the track right now as well, by the way. Nobody is around us. We have a horse behind. We have a, uh, a red ball. All right, the red ball. Right in front of us. Also right behind of us. They're going to be uh, our rivals. Remember, Mac Verstappen was chosen to be our rival. He was the chosen one. So let's see. All right, let's go. Let's do a prediction if we can. Can we qualify in the top five? Yes or no. Top five is a good one, I think. If we can qualify top five, that would be amazing. All right, let's put all that boat on. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome in to the first qualifying lap. Here we go. All right, let's send it. Let's send it. Let's send it. Romario, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. We're on 106 AI for this race in Hungary. Oh, a bit wide. Bit wide, bit wide, bit wide. Oh, that wasn't great. Oh, once again, what are we doing? It feels like the track is slower than it was in practice, man. Come on now. Here we go then. Alright, we need to improve now. Into third. Get over the curbs. Keep the car rolling. This time around a little bit closer to the inside. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Where is it going to be, ladies and gents? I think we're purple in the middle sector. Yes, we are purple in the middle sector. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Into third, into fourth, through the last and final turn, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a P1 with a 115.7 boom that's how we do it and this track is suiting our car very very nicely we are p1 ahead of russell ahead of Verstappen, ahead of perez ahead of pierre gasly who's in p5 at the moment very good left from him as well a 115.7 okay 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 come on Yes, guys, I noticed today there was an update in the game. It was like 700 uh, MB. Oh, no, 5 gigs or something. I think it was like 5 gigs. I don't know what, what that is, uh, the update. I don't know if somebody else has seen it, but I don't know. Uh, uh, does anybody know what that update is? Like, what is it like bug fixes or something? Uh, Pato Cook, take over the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. It's an awesome track, isn't it? Okay, it is an awesome track. Very high speed corners, very like a lot of medium sport, uh, medium speed corners, not a lot of low speed corners, I would say. Five gigs of bug fixes. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd rather see that than uh, one MB because that means that more bugs are fixed, you know. All right, bo uh, box this lap, box this lap. Understood, stopping this lap. Yeah, that would be a bit much, wouldn't it? Five gigs of bug fixes, but for me, it like updated five gigs or something. EA came out with F124 coming soon today. Wait, what? Where? Wait, did I miss something? Does anybody have a... Where is that? Is it on Twitter or something? First driver to have a time? Oh, we were, but we're going to maintain in P1 for now. On X. All right, let's see. Let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. EA... All right, let me show you guys. What is this? I've been debated. What do you mean? There's nothing here. There's Netflix. There's this. 
This F-123 out now. Arif. Oh. Wait, what is this? Oh my god! Oh, here we go. Look. Coming in 2024. EA Sport. Well, I mean, what does it say? Of course it's coming in 2024. Right? All right. Well, it's coming. But when is it coming? Nobody knows. Great. Amazing. We are very, a lot, we are much wiser right now. <laughs> huge. Absolutely huge. Coming in 2024. <laughs> All right, we're back in the pits, ladies and gents. We're back in the pits. Do you, do you have more of these news? <laughs> I want more of this. Come on. I want more. <laughs> Would it be on old gen consoles? I have no clue. We haven't heard anything yet, guys. We haven't heard anything yet. Well, this is, this is the first thing we've heard. Coming in 2024. Amazing. All right, so uh, I'm sure we'll hear something. I think last year we heard in March, so uh, it's it's close. It's getting close, I think. All right, so we're P1. Ooh, Carlos Sainz is in P2. Look at that, 15.8. He's very close. He's got the fastest first sector. We've got the fastest second and third. Third, we're way quicker. First, we're a little bit slower. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to get those softs on. We're going to see if we can get on pole position. Charles Leclerc now. Drops in P2. Oh la la. Oh la la. He is so close. 62,000 of a second. Ladies and gents, I want to know from you in the chat right now. Do you think we can imp uh, we can improve still? Or do you think, Tom, stay here. Keep keep the tires. Don't improve anymore. And just have enough tires for the race right here. Let me know. What do you think? <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the family. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, Tom. He's coming in with a tier one for two months. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. And a warm welcome in to the subscription party. <laughs> Once again, welcome in. Have you ever raced against an F1 driver? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, against the time of Sean Lazy in an F1 car, yes, but I was slower. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Sean Lazy is a flippant F1 driver. I'm an ex-F1 driver, guys. I drove in it for three laps. Ex-F1 driver. That's how it goes. You know? And now I bring all of my experience with me into the simulator. All of it. Sector 1 can be improved? Yeah. You guys think stay? No, go for it. Go for it. Okay, you know what? We'll go for it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go and accelerate the time a little bit more. We're going to go to about one, two minutes. And then we're going to go out on track for one run and one run only yeah. Hello! Welcome to the family! What's good you absolute legend? Hi everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Seven Johnny RC! Two more until we have a baby. Oh yeah, baby. Two more. Thank you so much for the seven month reset, my guy. Look at that beautiful uh, subscriber badge right there. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, man. Did you get your hair cut? Yes! Oh my goodness! You noticed! You're the first one, little Carlos. I did get my uh, hair cut. Uh, yesterday, fun, uh, fun thing is my mom is actually uh, is actually a hair uh, hairdresser, uh, and uh, I am uh, I am I have like a very luxurious thing where I literally don't need to leave my house to get my hair cut, so it's perfect. <laughs> it's literally perfect. I can just ask my mom, yo, can we get my hair cut? You know, like, yeah, sure, let's do it today. Easy clap. So I figured I'm, I'm gonna cut my heart hair once again because when I was on vacation, it grew so quickly in the sun. I thought it was gonna be fine for Bahrain, but I was like, you know what? I'll cut my hair one one more time for Bahrain. So uh, yeah, do you plan on playing Le Mans Ultimate? I want to try it out, actually, guys. I want to try out Le Mans Ultimate. Maybe when I'm back from Bahrain, we can try, we can do a day of testing out Le Mans Ultimate um, on the stream. I think we should probably do that. But I missed the kind of. Uh, the kind of launch hype because I was I was not at home. I was not at home. All right, ladies and gents, the last lap will get started right here. Do you think we can keep pole position? Oh my goodness! 
I'm sorry, Stroll. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, here we go. Nobody cares. There it opens up. Boom. We will get started right here, right now, with 10 seconds on the clock. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. Carlos Sainz goes quicker. Come on, we have to improve now. We're a little bit quicker at the moment. 13,000s, 20,000s. Into third gear, stay close to the inside. Who the flip is behind of us right now? It is Sunora, but he's going slowly. Put out the P4. All right, beautiful. P5, what the flip is this? All right, back into third gear. Into four and fifth, back into four. Stay on the curbs. Oh, this is beautiful. Five tens up. Okay, we gotta do this. We gotta do this now. This has to be pull. This has to be pull. Look at that. A whole five tens. Oh, big moment, big moment. We lose a little bit of time on the exit. Ladies and gentlemen, what is it gonna be in the qualifying session of Hungary? One of the most important qualifyings of the season. We go through the last and final turn. Diaz opens up. Five full tens up. And that is... Fantastic. Pole, position. pole position. Boom. Our, one of the first pole positions of this season. And we out-qualify our rivals, Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton. That lap was good in the end. That lap was good. And good enough it was because we are on pole position for the Hungary Grand Prix. Only just, though, because we actually lost out on... Um, we're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before on, uh, we're on that position for uh, for a few laps, we were down to P5. Break. We were five we're tenths quicker Sainz though, and now and we um, we're up. looking we pretty decent here. We're looking pretty pretty tomorrow. decent. Be sure to join us there. Uh, the AI is on 106, guys. Fantastic race. 106. It's 70. Oh, don't start this shite again. All right, don't start this again. <laughs> don't start this again. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves advanced into the race. Nuclear noodles. Oh, man, those are the best. Those are absolutely the best. You know it, Jorrit. You flipping know it. It's not 105. It's 106. If you put action H mark AI, it's going to say 105. But I put it on 106 for this race. All right, let's advance. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The prediction was yes, indeed. Illegal. Illegal. All right. Let's go. Do you edit your videos on YouTube? I edit my own videos, except for the ones that were the creator series, as well as the uh, the the kind of uh, no assist videos of this year. I had an editor for that one, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my own uh, video edits again for uh, for F124. You will not even be able to notice the difference really should be should be good should be good all right um we are as you can see right here 55 points away from Charles Leclerc and we can go and make that a lot smaller that gap are you ready for a race you will remember for the rest of your life because I'm telling you right now over here we don't create streams we create indeed you know it Shows. So get a popcorn, get a milkshake, get everything you need with a brand new engine. Ladies and gents, we will attack. And attack we will do. 35 laps of racing around Hungary. We're starting P1. Let's see how, how hard it's going to be to re uh, retain that position. But what is for sure is that the battles will happen. Right here, right now. Because I am, I'm thinking we are probably going to be a little bit slower than them on the straights. We're going to be quick in the corners, but they're going to be quick on the straights. So we need to make sure we defend the best we can in the corners and on the straights. But especially on the straights. Uh, because that's where they're going to have an advantage over us, most likely. I am indeed Dutch, yes, but I like to keep everything in the chat in English because we got people from all over the world. In fact, let me know in the chat right now, where are you watching from? You'll see we have the most international chat in the entirety of Button, the world. Hill, let me know right Alonso, here, right now. And the names of the drivers where are you watching from? I see Sweden, Australia, boots. Netherlands, we Moldova, uh, Ireland, Slovakia, what? Finland. I see Melbourne, I see Netherlands, I see Portugal, England, uh, Slovenia, Malaysia, Belgium, West Virginia, US. 
USA, Serbia, Netherlands, Malaysia, Singapore, Slovenia, Romania, the Philippines, England, Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, uh, Cyprus, Alaska, the England, Wales, India, Poland, Florida, Czech Republic, uh, Poland, Brazil, Germany. Welcome in, ladies and gents. We're starting P1. Uh, three tenths away from Carlos Sainz with a magnificent lap in the end. Uh, for Steppen starts P4, and Charles Leclerc, I think, has gotten a penalty. He's picked up a penalty because he's nowhere to be found in the top 10. He started P12. He qualified P2, but we say bye, 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 bye. And that is very good for us because Charles Leclerc needs to lose some points in the championship. That's very good for us. This is basically the best case scenario. Us in P1, Charles Leclerc in P12, and a track where it's very hard to overtake. Uh, Robin, thank you for the follow as well, but Sal, welcome to the family. As you can see, compared to Pierre Gasly, we've done better every single race. Um, but we both got points in every single race as well in the last three races, so not bad at all. Quite a diversity for your watchers. That's pretty cool. I know, right? Every single time I ask it, it's so cool to see all of uh, all of the different languages, cultures, and we're all here to enjoy one single thing. Is that too much work? And that we will do. Let's go and check out though what the strategies are like. Starting from pole position, we need to make sure we do something uh, good. The question is, what will be good? I'm thinking a two-stop could be good right there. Uh, especially with the overspeeds, we will be able to do some good overtakes. I'm thinking. Medium tire start and s we could do medium medium soft as well. Overspeed will be massive, right? So like this, uh, like this. Twelve, twelve, eleven. Uh, it's like twelve, thirteen, ten. 13, 12, 10. I think like this could be the best thing we can do. But let me know in the chat. What do you think would be the better strategy right here? I'm thinking a two-stop could be better right here. Because otherwise you're going to be stuck and you're going to have a lot of tire wear. Um, but now we can overtake. And I know it's harder to overtake around Hungary. But I believe with this strategy, we can still go to medium-soft, right? If you want to. But I believe doing the medium-medium-soft as a standard strategy will be the best one. Um... Because the, the fresh tires is going to have such a big impact. Uh, especially towards the end. It should be very easy to overtake everyone at, everybody at the end. We do have to do more overtaking. But we're not here to just sit back and relax. And uh, get ourselves into uh, you know a little bit of a, of a, of a slipstream train. No, no, no. We need the advantage. Right? We need the advantage. You guys agree? Soft, medium, medium? I'm thinking medium, medium, soft. Because at the end we need to overtake as much as possible, right? Um, not necessarily at the start. We're starting P1, right? If we lose one position, it's okay. And we can go from there. You guys saying soft, hard, hard, soft? Medium, medium, soft, soft, medium, medium, soft, medium, soft. We can even do that as well. Wait, actually, let's see. Oh, that's looking a little bit slower, guys. Yeah, that's looking slower. We ain't doing that. No, we're not doing that. Let's do 13, 12, 10. Let's do medium, medium, soft. Ladies and gents, a warm, warm walk. And we're going to put up the um, the fuel a little bit. Because otherwise we might run out. And uh, because this is a very tough track for uh, for fuel. Uh, but I think this should be okay. Uh, an, a lap over should be okay. Two and a half laps over. All right. Welcome in from all over the world. Let's get started. With the Hungary Grand Prix in the Alpine F1 driver career. Road to glory. On the formation lap we go, and Sainz has opted to go for the same strategy as us. Okay, Russell has gone way? for the softs, yeah, and Verstappen and Norris as the well. They have gone for the softs, we have gone for the medium, so both me and Sainz are for a different strategy. I think we are going to be one of the only drivers to be on the two-stop, unless there's a safety car. Then there's probably going to be more people on the two-stop as well. Let's do a prediction, if we can, and that prediction could be... Will we win this race? Yes or no? This could be the second win in our career, ladies and gents. We haven't won many races yet because it's just too tough. In qualifying, we've shown the pace, but the race pace has not been up to par. Um, for many of the races, of course, our car is being, being no developed being. very aggressively this season. So we're getting quicker and quicker now. So let's see. Uh, Thames, uh, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? If you haven't just hit that follow button and you're enjoying yourself as well, make sure you do. 
If you don't hit the follow button today, you're gonna come back in a year's time. You'll tell me, Tom, I missed out on a year of fun, my guy. Um, I should have hit that follow button. All right. I have uh, done some work on the on the border right here yesterday, and now also all YouTube members will show up with the uh, with the subscriber song. And uh, if you subscribe on YouTube, it should now show up as well if you have a public account. Not bad, huh? No, bad. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. We need to make sure we have a good start. Because otherwise, we're going to have some trouble. Because I think Russell and Verstappen are really, really quick on those softs here at the start. Manuel! I think we're the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. All right, let's warm up those stars a little bit more now. Come on, come on. Into our grid slot. Beautiful. This time around, we don't get flipping teleported. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I remember yesterday. That wasn't great. That was not great. It's time for the Hungarian lights to hit the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, once they go out, we go racing. Here we go then for the Hungarian Grand Prix, ladies and gents. Chill back, relax. Here we go. Boom! A good start straight away. However, we have a little bit of a wheel spin. Straight away, it's going to be the Carl Russell to take B1. Verstappen takes B2. Sainz goes into P3, and we lose plenty of positions right here. Not the start, not the traction zone that we wanted. As Sainz takes P3. We're down to P4 from pole position. Bro, what is this, man? Come on. Come on now. Even Sainz, he was on the medium tires right here. We're going to try and get a better traction zone, though. Compared to Sainz, can't quite get it, but they're using a lower battery at the moment. Unless they're super, super quick in any way in the straight line. Down to P4. You saw we kind of had that little traction loss at the very start, which didn't really give us a good run at the turn one. Hamilton tries to go for the move as well. We have to cover up the inside. They are super aggressive at the moment. Okay, the super, super aggressive. Forward. However, we are aggressive too. And we will show to them. We are not to be messed with, okay? As we close in now to P3, Science driving away slowly but surely. Bro, those soft runners are rapid. That's why I think it's better for us to be on the softs at the end, guys. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I can't believe we, we lost three positions here from pole position. I feel like if we start P3, we start way better and we are in P1 normally. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like Lewis lost here. <clears throat> We're basically Lewis. We're basically Lewis. In the third gear we go then as we try and close into the car of signs. Guys, where do we go for an overtake just now? Where are we going to go for an overtake? Let me know in the chat. Where should we go for an overtake? A little bit wide, a little bit wide. Get caught up on the curb. And this is why we need to go for an offset strategy. Because, because as you can see, it's very easy to get stuck in the train. Very, very easy. Alright, come on now. The main straight, you think? Yeah, I think so as well. We need to just make sure we're going to be close enough to science because... We don't have the DRS yet. And I think if it stays like this, Sainz might lose the DRS on the card in front of Verstappen as well as Russell. Uh, Toby Asusa! Take with a follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. As you go into Ford here, we utilize all of the battery. I want to go for the move this lap. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Into the of the car of Sainz. We close in just a tiny bit. He's going to defend the inside. We're going to go all the way to the outside. Oh, we're gonna go deep, but it's gonna be a little bit too deep, and Science comes back at us. We try and do a switch, but we can't quite yet. To the left hand side we go. Science goes really, really defensive. Almost hits us. Actually, does hit us. We go up the inside, go side by side with the car of Science. Just about cover move. Have to keep the inside line here for Science. And there we go. We're up at the P3, but 1.3 seconds now to the car in front. And if we watch out, or if we don't watch out right now, we will lose the DRS once it opens up, and that is gonna be really, really bad for us. Really, really bad for us. All right, come on now. This is going to be a crucial middle sector. We have to remain in that one second mark. I think we are at the moment. 
I think we are at the moment. Boom! Beautiful! 0 0.8. But where's the battery? We have used all the battery. Or most of the battery. 7 tenths of a second. We're in lap 3 out of 35. And a warm welcome if you're joining in right now to the Alpine F1 driver. Road to glory. Career. We are now in round 12 out of, thir or out of 23, I believe. Uh, but um, we are doing two races today. Hungary and Belgium. So get some popcorn, get a milkshake, get seated comfortably. And enjoy. Because this race is long from being over. The most exciting part is yet to come because we are doing an extra stop today. We're going to try and make that two stop work. And at the moment, I think we have over speed over Carlos Sainz and maybe even the cars in front too. Because we're 1.1 seconds away. Boom! Come on! Get on my level. Sainz is now out of the DRS and we are looking to fight for P or for the top three with only three drivers here. I think Sainz is gone now and he's probably or most likely going to hold up the rest of the pack. For how long though will these soft runners be quicker that is the question let's see what our tires are doing at the moment 13 percent already so these soft tires are going to be worse than ours they can potentially be closing in on 25 percent of wear which is the point where you start losing a lot of time Verstappen now losing a bit of time on russell too i wonder where Charles Leclerc is where do you think he is guys at the moment on the minimap it looks like he is not anywhere close to the top 10 right uh, we are 55 points behind of Leclerc at the moment. He did a very... Well, he did a good qualifying. It was P2, but he has got a grid penalty. He's got a grid penalty. So he's now outside of the points. You can see the second Ferrari is Leclerc. I believe that's like P11 or something. You can count the dots and then you can see where he is. Yo! Yo! Welcome to the family. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Wega, wega, wega. I logged on in time. Thank goodness I wasn't late. Aren't you lucky to have me here? Your number one mate, 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 oh. mate, 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 mate. Oh, here we go again. Mate, 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 here we go mate, again. Mate, 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 JJD Moore, mate, thank you so much mate, for the tier one at ten mate, months, mate, and thank you for mate, spamming mate, my ears. Mate, mate, <laughs> mate, 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 Darshan! Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. Mate. All right, we're stepping. Four tenths of a second at the momento. Oh, we're struggling a little bit on the rear tires. Struggling a little bit on the rear tires. Rosie Mio. Thank you for the follow too. What's up? What did he say? He said mate. As well, Jazz. What up, Jazz? Oh, man. We're, we're sliding a bit on the straight, guys. We're, stri okay, we're sliding a little bit straight. So how hard is, are the F1 games? Uh, I, would, I would call them not simulator games. I would call them simcades. That's what a lot of people call them. They are simulated arcade games. Right? There is a lot of factors in this game that, that you can make it... Call, they can call it a simulator. But, they, but it's easy enough to use for a controller player. For uh, just casual players. So it is, a, it is a little bit of a midway point of a full simulation it's realistic enough and i am i am somebody who can actually say that because i've actually driven an f1 car in real life uh to the point where if you jump from this game into an actual f1 car it feels similar right um but it's not uh, one to one simulated as in like everything like like uh, like let's say i racing that takes it a lot more serious you know so I would say it's medium, uh, medium uh, in terms of how difficult it is. But to be at the top level is insanely hard. It is, it, it's impossible for 99% of the people that live. As Bonden comes in with a two. Oh, welcome to the family. Oh my goodness, we're getting overtaken. No, side is coming. Are you serious? Bonden comes in with a two-year resub at Twitch Prime. Absolute legend. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Holy moly, indeed. Has it been that long already, mate? I remember saying yesterday, Bonden. 
Uh, I, don't know, I got a question about it, I believe, but I, that, that I am one of the longest standing or the longest standing Twitch streamer who's been doing it almost every single day, who's still here. But you are probably number two. Right there with me. Which is quite cool to see. Uh, Evil Lash, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Yeah, exactly. Ignoring your break. <laughs> hey, sometimes you need to refresh, okay? Especially after you've just uh, moved uh, to the other side of the world, so. Does iRacing have F1? iRacing does have F1. Yes, iRacing does have F1. All right. Here we go. We're closing in to Max Verstappen. Let's see what we can do. We need to recharge the batteries. We have 55% at the moment, but we're way quicker. And the soft tires, I believe, are getting slower and slower. So we will go for the move on our rival in the championship. Max Verstappen on the... Hey! Bro, what the flip was that? He bumped us. He bumped us in the middle of the braking uh, zone. What the... What was that, bro? Well, I want to see that. I want to see that. All right, let's see. Let's see. What are you doing? Right on the braking zone. The guy turns to the right to hit us. Oh my goodness. Luckily, we got the position done, but that was not fair whatsoever. You, you mother... Saka. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we will keep going. We have Mac for stepping behind, and now we also have to watch out because we could be losing a bit of time on Russell. As you can see, 1.0. We need to close in. Th those soft tires must be losing pace now, right? We could be back in P1 very, very soon here. And remember, we're doing an extra pit stop, so pit stop information, pit stop information. We've got two stops remaining now. Two stops pit stop remaining information. Pit window opens in five laps time. Pit five window laps. opens in five laps time, so we need to be rapid here. We need to be rapid, but I can Yo, already feel the tires getting slower. Legend, how you doing? Wega, wega, wega. Breaking Bye. news, Tom Bennis set to retire from F1 and start a NASCAR career. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's, that's fake news, mate. Fake flipping news. What is this? We're trying to make fake drama for, for the new Netflix Drive to Survive Season 7 here. Don't be not to retire. What is this? What is this? F coming in with an 18-month resub. That's two times baby. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much um, for coming in with another resub. You guys are so kind, man. Absolutely amazing. And welcome back, baby. Welcome back. All right, ladies and gents, we are here right behind the car of George Russell. If you're joining in at the moment, a warm welcome in. My name is Tom. It's a pleasure to meet you. They also call me Tom the Bomb and my female counterpart, all right? My sister. It's called Tombina. Tombina is driving right now. She is the best F1 driver you have ever seen. And that is exactly what we're going to show right here, right now, because we are behind of George Russell. And um, as you can see behind of us, Carlos Sainz is also overtaken for Stefan, which means there is a bit of a gap. And now it's a 1-2 fight, P1 and P2 fighting for the win, unless Sainz can close in here, which it looks like he can, because look at that overspeed. He was on 1.6, now he's 1.4, 1.5. I think he's got the pace. We need to get past Russell. If we don't get past Russell, we'll have some problemos, because Sainz will close in in that case. And the damage is on, yes indeed, Masuri. The damage is on. Uh, spinning soon? No, 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 no. Don't don't manifest a spin, because if you do that, it will have actually happen, okay? We've seen it plenty of times in the past. Uh, Paradoxy is what is true players. What's up? Welcome to the family as well. Okay, Boom! If you haven't yet hit that follow button, make sure you do it like Paradoxy, all right? Be like Paradoxy. We do not want to miss out on any of the future shows. All right, here we go. 0 0.8 to Russell. We're starting to lose some pace. Who is also losing pace? Russell, who is not losing pace. Signs, because look at that. 1.2 seconds, and Signs is closing in now. The soft runners are really starting to lose pace. And Leclerc, our championship rival, is still stuck. He is that little uh, red dot on the minimap, all the way in the midfield. Come on now. We can do this. 
I want to know in the meantime, of course, the season is almost going to start here this week. I want to know which Grand Prix this year are you most looking forward to? I I don't know, actually. Which one I'm most, look, most looking forward to. I mean, it makes it... Okay, look, for me, I'm looking most forward to Bahrain. <laughs> because I'm going there. <laughs> All right, but like just to watch at home. I don't know. Maybe Monaco or Las Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. That, that one will, will have a completely different vibe to it, you know? W key Rockets. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. All right, we're closing in now. But we're also going to go into the pits in two laps, guys. We're doing a two-stop here today. Medium, medium, soft. Medium, medium, soft. Uh, pit stop information, pit stop information. Right, two stops left in this strategy, two more stops planned, and your pit window open. Two laps time, two yep, there we go. Time. Do you think we should go early or do you think we should go late? Ladies and gents, we are a little bit stuck at the moment, behind the car of Russell. But if we do a good um, lap here, I believe we can close in. Enough to have, a, to have an attack. I think we should go late. We're all we're already going late, to be honest, because we're doing 13 laps on the mediums now. Next lap will do, or next pit stop will do 12 laps, and then we'll do 11 or 10 laps on the softs. So we're always gonna go earlier than these guys because they're most likely gonna do a one stop. Driver in front, driver in front. Okay, Russell's ahead. Okay, the gap is less than a second. Okay, they're on old softs. Okay, they've done 10 laps on those tires. Yep. We think they've got one, one more stop for Russell. He's going to go soft, hard, or soft, medium. Now we're closing 21. in, though, with the DRS open up as well. We're going to try and see if we can mount an attack. And we are going to mount an attack into the <laughs> of Russell. Okay, not close enough. We were looking, though. We were looking, we were looking. And now, because we're this close, we might have an opportunity later on this lap. Come on, now. F1 Limpan. Take with the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Ooh, he made a mistake. Now Russell was struggling with those start. He is sliding, slipping and sliding, slipping and sliding for Russell. You're looking forward to Brazil? Ooh, yeah, that's always a really good uh, track as well. Do we have Brazil uh, a sprint race this year or not? I hope we do because it's always very good at Brazil, a sprint race. Watch out now, third gear. Do we go this lap or do we go lap 13? We do have a sprint race in Brazil. That's awesome. Okay, be aware. The that is awesome. The grip level is going to start falling away soon. As you can see right here, we have 37, 40% almost. It's time to start thinking about bidding. Number one, if you think we should go in. Number two, if you think we should stay out. I think we should stay out one more lap, but let's see. 13 is our pit lap. We have to make a decision now, though. It's too late. Too late. And we're gonna go for the move straight away on George Russell. Here we go then. On the right hand side we go. He's gonna fend off the inside. We're gonna go all the way around the outside. Break as late as possible with Russell on the inside. We're gonna go deep. We're gonna go wide. We're gonna pick up a little bit of marbles on the tires as well. But on the outside, better traction zone and the DRS. We are in P1 then. Boom. Oi, 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 oi. That was a very, uh, a very um, last minute call actually i didn't have enough time to make the call to be honest but i think it worked out because we're now up at the p1 gaining some time used uh, getting used to the um drs here we're using the drs and we're now six stands in front and we're also a little bit further in front of signs who could be on the closest strategy compared to us also starting on the mediums everybody else on the softs signs will go longer than everybody else here including us but we are pitting Box this lap, box this lap with those boxes in the chat. It's time to pit, ladies and gents. Speed Racer, take me to follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. That is the best decision you could make right here, right now. Well done. Nine tenths of a second in the meantime. To Russell, he's losing a lot of pace here. A lot of pace. He must be pitting as well soon, right? But here we go. Into the pits. Medium, medium, soft is the strategy. All right. Beautiful! Russell keeps going! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Alright, where are we gonna come out? It's not a super long uh, uh, pit lane. So, it's relatively okay, easier to do a two-stop over here. Oh, we're gonna be right behind of Leclerc, I think. We're gonna be right behind of Leclerc, I think so. Ooh, maybe even further behind. Come on! 
only have to stop once now. One stop ah, left. one driver here. It's Nico Hulkenberg. That we are behind. Oh, oh my goodness. Somebody tried to send it on us. Alonso as well as Sonora. Big time um, battling. Big time battling. On the brand new mediums though. We should have plenty of pace to come through the grid. Look at how much more speed we have compared to Nico Hulkenberg. We're going to try and get the overtake done here. On the right hand side we go. No a lot of space, not a lot of space. Nico Hulkenberg goes wider. We're gonna go. Oh my god, what are you doing? He covers us off all the way. This time around we go to the inside. Better traction zone. We break in deep, and that is gonna be the move done. B12. Okay, that, that cost us too much time. In the meantime, Leclerc in front of us still doesn't gain any time here. He hasn't gained any time or positions. That's really good for the championship because he is on the soft tires in P11. He's used the best tires that he's going to have already. Oh, as we go a little bit wide. That's not what you want. Yo, welcome to the family. What's good to you? Absolute legend. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. SJ 1420 SJ. gifted a tier one sub to Purpane. SJ they coming in four gift with subs the gifted the sub. The four gifted sub in total as well. Thank you so much, SJ. And welcome in Purpane 8. Back into the okay, subscription the family. Behind. Behind. Legendary, man. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, SJ. Very, very kind. All right. We are now in P12. And we're right behind up Leclerc. We need to cut through the field like like, like butter. Chuck, 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 chuck. Okay. Question is whether we can do that. We're currently purple in the middle sector. We're going to try and send it on the inside. Leclerc leaves a little bit of space. No touchy, touchy. Boom! On our championship rival. We go for an audacious move. And that is P11. All right. Now, next up, P3. Dan Bolt as Dan Magnussen. Where do we do it? Maybe around the outside right here. Yes, around the outside. Look at the overspeed. Woo! Oh my goodness, that was a big one. I thought we could go for the move already there on Bottas as well. We're going to go super close to him right now. We're going to go to the inside. We're going to break as late as possible. And that is moved on as well. You can see just how much these tires are better at the moment. Just how much these tires are better. To the left-hand side we go. Kevin Magnussen, he actually doesn't want us to go by. But we want the DRS, and we do have the DRS. Bye-bye, see you later. P7. And as we pitted, Norris comes out behind. We are most likely going to have that P1 position nailed down right now. With the pace that we have at the moment. DRS opens up here too again because... Um, because there's one DRS detection point. So you need to be behind of the car in front within a second and then you're gonna have the DRS again even if you overtake them before turn one we qualified on pole position did a very very good job so far and um, we are now in P4 after we pitted early because we're doing an extra pit stop compared to everybody else so chill back and relax because this will be a race and a race and a half because we have to do plenty of overtakes as we've done so far already and we're gonna do even more Oh, man, we're rapid. Purple first sector, but we've been purple second sector. Yes, we will. Bro, these brand new tires are really, really cooking at the moment. Russell Pitts now finally. I wonder where uh, Sainz is. Sainz is way out in front. Where does Russell come out, though? That's the question. Perez Pitts as well. Boom! Fast as lap. And we overtake them by, like, an insane amount. Because look at that. Russell was right there with us and now he's five seconds behind more than that even how much is it nine seconds look at an undercut guys all right i want to know from you in the chat right now what do you think will we be able to win this race with this extra stop number one if you think yes number two if you think no it's not happening at the moment i i believe there is a chance that we will have those battles for the win in the last few laps. I think this is definitely a strategy that will help us be a lot more comfortable rather than just defending, defending, defending. We can attack, attack, attack. 8.6 seconds to Carlos Sainz now. As we keep closing in. Alright, what is the tie wear? 
11% only. Man, our tires are so much better. Ah, oh, here he goes. He pits and we're up at the P1. Once Carlos Sainz pits, we will be leading the race. Leading the race, ladies and gents. We're gonna go for how many laps? Pit stop information. Pit stop information. Oh my god, Sainz goes on the hard tires. Sainz is on the hards. The thing is, though, Russell, Sainz, everybody else behind will be quicker now because they have newer tires compared to us. Like, we will be quick, but they are going to start gaining some more time from here on out. So, the best of this stint has gone now. The best of this stint has gone. Why do you like Alpine? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am an ambassador for the Alpine esports team. And I was actually there since the very start of Alpine. Uh, before they even became Alpine. Uh, well, actually, I was there since the start. Not before, but... Uh, ever since Al Alpine became Alpine, I uh, became an ambassador for the Alpine esports team. So, um, and it's been an amazing time. I've, I've been able to do some really, really cool things with Alpine, like... Something that nobody, and even me, never even could ever imagine in our lives. And that is to drive an F1 car. To flip and do uh, a really cool stream at the Alpine F1 car launch last year. Uh, to go to the Grand Prix in Hungary. In the paddock. And then uh, almost bully Alonso out of the team. <laughs> Because the day after I met him, he left the team. That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> I hope it doesn't have anything to do with me. And hopefully many more things this year. With Alpine as well. Oh, there's a yellow flag, I believe. Nope, there's not a yellow flag. There was a little bit of a yellow flag earlier. And as you can see right now, Russell is gaining time. Okay, well, we have to watch out now, guys, because Russell will close in slowly but surely. CPT Trader, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? You need to pit by lap 25. Then you might have a chance. Yeah, I think I think we have to start thinking about pitting around that time. Pit stop information. Pit stop information. You only have to stop once now. One stop left. And that's six laps. One stop left. Open. One stop left. How many laps did it say? Pit stop information. Okay, one stop to go. Just one stop left in this strategy. And that's six laps. Your six laps. Open. Six laps, ladies and gents. Yo! Yo! Welcome to the family. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Waka, waka, waka. I'm Ruben. Coming in with the Twitch Prime for the 10th time already. Thank you so much, uh, Ruben. And welcome back in as well. Lots of resubs today, and uh, Ruben is one of them. Thank you so much, Ruben. You think lap 25 and then fight for the win? Yeah. As you can see, our undercut was working very well, but as you can see as well right now, undercut is working now for Russell because we undercut a damn. Well, I mean, I guess he, he overcut, but because he pitted later, he now has newer tires compared to us, and he is gaining time about... Driver behind, driver behind. Okay, Russell's behind you now. We're leaving the car behind by 7.4 seconds. They're on fresh How much? Their tires are three laps per lap. Time last lap was a one minute 18. I'm, I feel like a second per lap almost. 18.4, they say, right? His lap. 18.4. What are we doing right here? We're doing an 18.19.9. Holy Jesus! We've got a lot of spare energy. We're slow. We are not quick at the moment. They might be closing in. Look at that. 6.8 for Russell. Let's utilize a little bit of the battery, but I don't want to use too much of the battery either, guys, because we need that battery when we are out on track with the brand new soft tires at the end. You know what I mean? Uh, football F1, thank you for the follow as well, what's up, and a warm welcome for joining in right now to the Alpine Road to Glory F1 driver career. You're here in lap 2135, and remember, there will be another race after this as well, which will be 
the uh, Belgium Grand Prix, one of my favorite Grand Prix, but we're in Hungary at the moment. And we're fighting for the championship with Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen. Where are they though? They're nowhere to be found, so we can get some really good points over them this race. As long as we win it. But I think it'll be tough, because as you can see, 6.4 seconds, they are closing in. We can't pit yet, guys. We can't pit yet. We're going on the softs. And we're, we've done 13 laps on the mediums. We had like 40%, so... We need to at least have 10 laps or, or, or less than that for the softs to really work. Lizap, take over the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. It was a custom wheel. This wheel is a custom Well, I mean, you can buy it, but I customized it. Um, it is the GSI Hyper P1. What is the pit loss right here? 20 or 22 seconds. The pit loss around here is... I don't know, actually. I think it's going to be around 22. Normally, around the long track, it's like 28 seconds. But ooh, here we go. We're going to go a little bit wide again. It's 5.9 now. We're losing about a second each lap. Uh, pit stop information. No, need to worry about the time no condition that's not what I want. Everything that's not what I want to hear. Pit stop information. All right, we'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in this strategy. Your pit no! Is going to open in three laps time. Pit no! Three laps. No, no, no. Okay, I think we have. I think we got throwing damage. Strategy after that. I've got no! Go and check your MFT. I think we need to go hards, guys. I think we need to go hards. Copy. Or do we go softs? What do you think? Should we go softs? We lost the car. Box this lap. Box this lap. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Oh no. Please. Please. We need to change. Okay, we're gonna go softs, guys. We're gonna go softs. It's not that early. It's not that early. We can do it. We have to go softs. We have to change the wing. And this is really gonna go. And throw a spanner in the works. Oh my goodness. We almost spanned the pits as well. Come on. Okay, here we go. Come, 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 come. Change the front wing. Put a soft tire on. And then we have to come through the grid. ASAP. Oh my goodness. Out of nowhere. We lose the car over the curb. And now we have to go really, really quick here to come back through the field. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're going to be behind of this pack, I think. We're going to be behind of this pack. No! All right, let's go. It's time to overtake. Ladies and gents, there's one thing we never do. And what is that? There's one thing we never do. What do we never do? We never, and then you finish the sentence. Come on. No. Oh my god, I swear. You literally always say flip and win. We never give up! Okay? And that is exactly what we're going to do right here. We're going to be so much quicker than everyone else right now. Only soft tires. Look at the overspeed we have right now on Stroll. Boom! Overtake one. Come on. It's time to hook in right now. It's time to hook in. Ladies and gents, the comeback is on. The comeback is on! Guangyu Zhou up next. Let's do a good run through here and let's go for the move on this uh, braking zone right now. Purple middle sector, 3 to 1, boom. Overtake number 2. Oh my goodness, we're making it really hard for ourselves right now. Overtake number 3. Okay, good we're on fire! Sort of. After we crashed. All right, come on. Yuki Tsunoda up next. We're going to utilize the battery. And this is why I wanted to save the battery. On the inside, we go of Yuki Tsunoda. Now, we utilize the DRS. Oh, man. We've got a little bit of marbles on the, on the tire as well. These softs won't last. We have, to, we have to make them last, guys. We have to make these softs last. On the inside of the Haas. And there we go. Moved on again. Oh, my goodness. We're on fire right now. All right, place. I'm not giving up. Should we send it? Nah, it's too far, it's too far, it's too far. I wanted to send it really, really hard there. But that was too much. Okay, maybe around the outside right here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my goodness! Overtakes left, right, and center. And we are making the comeback work as long as we don't lose the car again. Solo Talmo, as well as Maggie. Take with the follow as well, but sub, welcome in. What is the tire wear? 
Seven percent. That's not. That's the bit. That's a bit much. Not gonna lie. After like two laps, was it? Eight percent. That's about four percent per lap. Boom! Fastest lap of anybody out on track right now. I think I could have sent it even over here. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna be that desperate. Another overtake. Boom! Both that's P11 now. P11. Come on, Tom. All right, let's get a good exit here on Alonso. Let's get that overtake down as well. Better exit on the inside. We have to send it here. And there we go. That is moved on as well. Purple first sector. And we're up at the points again. Where's where's Leclerc, guys? Where's Leclerc? Did we overtake Leclerc yet or not? No, we didn't. We did not overtake Leclerc yet. He's in front. We have to at least be in front of Leclerc and Verstappen here. That's what we need to do for the championship. Do you think we can do it? Yes or no? A warm welcome in though. In lap 25 out of 35. As we have just pitted for the soft tires. We're trying to get to the end. With these tires. And we're doing our best. To close the gaps here. Because there is some big gaps at the moment. We need to hurry up here. Come on, Tom. Ah, uh, we're getting some struggles with the tire already. Come on! Four point zero. I think, especially the middle sector, we're going to be good. Multi sixty nine, multi sixty nine. Tell Gasly we're coming. That's Alonso behind, and the gap behind us is two point nine seconds. They're Come on, on now. Okay, they've done 10 laps on those tyres. Your last lap time was a 1.21.2. 2.8. Driver in front, driver in front. That's Pierre ahead of you now. And gap to the car in front is 2.6 seconds. They're on old medium. Oh okay, la la. they've done 10 laps on those tyres. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 21.0. You're closing in by 3 seconds a lap. 3 seconds. Bruh, that has to be possible then. 3 seconds, that's, that's huge. Come on. That's huge. But for how long can we be 3 seconds quicker, guys? Alright, let me know in the chat right now. Which position do you think we can end up in? I think if we end up in uh, around P5, I think that will be really good. After that big moment where we lost the car earlier and we crashed the car. Musa D, take with the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Come on now. All right, Pierre Gasly is up next. Please leave us by. You know we are teammates. Actually, I'm going to utilize his DRS because that will be way more strong than overtaking him here. We're going to be smart about this, guys. We're going to be smart about this. We're going to utilize Gasly's DRS right here as we go around the outside. Oh my goodness, what the flip! This is beautiful! Yellow flag. Oh, what is happening? Somebody lost it! Green flag. Somebody was parked up on the side of the road. And I think they got retired right there. Who was that? Wait, who was that? Was that Russell? Was that Hamilton? Wait, who was that, guys? Hamilton has retired right here. Lewis Hamilton. Oi, 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 oi. He is out of this race and that gives us a free position. That gives us a free position. In these last seven laps, though, can we close in to Piastri? To Leclerc. Leclerc 5.7 in front. I mean, without, without the flipping... Oh, here we go. A little bit wide. Watch out now. Without the big moment. 
That would have been okay, easy. Gap ahead is 2.9 seconds. Do we still have the overspeed or not? 5.2, 2.8, 2.4. I can feel the tire to start to struggle a bit more. 2.2. Yeah, we got it. We got the, we got the pace, guys. We got the pace. Philips, thank you for the follow as well. What's okay, up? Welcome to the family. If you haven't hit that follow button and you're enjoying yourself right now, now is the time. If you don't do it today, right here, right now, you're gonna come back in a year's time. And you're gonna tell me, Tom, I missed out on a year of fun. You don't wanna be like that, okay? It's happened in the past, it will happen again. As we almost lose the car right there. Oi, oi, oi. What is these tires saying? What are these? Yep, there you go. I told you, 25%. That's when they start getting really, really tough. Come on now. We're still gaining. We're still gaining. 1.9. Chain Cage. Coming in with a five euro donation Hello, legend. Who do you predict will be the top four in the Constructors Championship this F1 season? Ooh, that's a tough question. I would say, I would say, um, Red Bull wins, Ferrari P2, Mercedes P3, Aston Martin, or McLaren P4. That's what I think. But I'm not sure. I am not sure. Thank you so much, though, for the 5 euro donation, Chain Gage. Absolute legend. That is super kind of you, man. I really appreciate that. Guys, what do you think? Who will be the top four? What will be the top four in real life Formula 1 this season? As we close in with the last five laps right here. On Piastri first of all. Then we have Charles Leclerc. We just need to finish in front of Charles Leclerc. Wait, is the podium possible still? It might be. I think so. Look at that. It's the, it's the McLaren up in front of Norris. Oh, man, we're struggling, guys. We're struggling. These tires are not good anymore. Come on, come on. Our pace is really, really, really going quickly. And this is why we shoot a bit later, but we couldn't because we had damage, obviously. Come on now. Little bit of marbles on the tires, but we're right here with the car of Oscar Piastri. All right, let's focus. We have a few laps to go still, guys. We have a few laps to go still. 2.5 to Leclerc. And then there's a big gap. But if we close that gap, we can get into P3 still. As long as they battle, that would be good, actually, for us. All right, we need to get Piastri right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was insane. We survived. No touchy touchy. We made the corner and we've overtaken Oscar Piastri for P7. All right, come on now. Come on, come on. That was a beautiful move. All right, 2.5 again, 2.5. We can do this. I think the 6.3 to Verstappen will be tough, but we can definitely get Leclerc. Remember, Leclerc is our championship rival. He's right in front of us. And for these last three laps, we're going to have to do our very best to close that gap and to get Shaw Leclerc here. Come on now. Chevy saying Rebel P1, Ferrari P2, Mercedes P3, McLaren P4. Ooh, fair enough. 
I think Aston Martin is looking a little bit more uh, quick than, uh, than McLaren at the moment. I don't know. Judging off of everything I'm hearing in social media, I'm, uh, I think Aston Martin will have the will have the edge. But you might be right. I think they're going to be close. That's for sure. Oh, look at that. 40% on the tires. 40% on the tires. 1.8 seconds. This will be a battle between good. the champions. Or, well... I'm not a champion. Well, I'm an F2 champion, right? Tommy has an F2 champion. But between the championship contenders, I mean. At the moment. Both F2 champions, Leclerc and us. 1.4 now. Two laps to go. Or three laps to go, including this one. Rolik, Clap, Looper, Euphoria. I think we're to follow as well. And once again, Chain Gage. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Legendary. One point three now, bro. We're not gaining enough, are we? Who do you think is gonna win? Are you on team Team Leclerc or are you on team Tombina? Who will win this battle for P6? Honestly, if Verstappen goes slowly here, we might be able to close it. Like. They're all, they're all there, right? They're really, really slow at the moment. Oh, a few more left than we would have been there, I think. Team Tombina. Team Leclerc. Uh, Nix, take over the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. All right, eight tenths of a second. Phoenix, take over the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. We now finally have DRS on Leclerc. We have two laps to go. It's now 4.4 to the car for Stefan. Ladies and gents, it's not over yet. I can see them battling really hard. And then us being able to close in here. I can see it happening. Come on. Come on, come on. Trotters will just see what's up. Welcome to the family too. Thank you for the follow. Right here. We can smell Charles Leclerc, ah, rotten fish. What have you eaten yesterday, Charles Leclerc? Oh my goodness. All the time it's rotten fish, man. All the time. All the flipping time. All right, come on now. In the fort. We are following, but where are we gonna do it? We have one lap to go. One lap to go and do this. And it has to happen this lap. Otherwise, on the main straight. Otherwise, we're not going to have another opportunity. We don't have a lot of battery, though. I think Charles Leclerc has everything saved up. We're close now, though. We're close. Ladies and gentlemen, on the last lap of the Hungary Grand Prix, we will attempt an overtake on Charles Leclerc. The RS opens up. Battery opens up, everything opens up, the mouth opens up into the of Charles Leclerc. To the right inside we go, on the inside will break, Charles Leclerc moves to the right inside, we touch wheel, we touch cards, and we will have the inside, get the position done, DRS opens up as well, boom! B6 in our championship rival with the fastest lap as well, however, it's not over yet because Charles Leclerc probably has better tires at this point in time, he's gonna try and stay close and maybe go for the re-overtake, we don't have a lot of battery, and here he goes, Charles Leclerc, Using all the battery that he has, closes in slowly but surely or very quickly on the straight right there. He is dangerous and he's going to remain dangerous all the way to the end. All the way to the end. At the end of lap 35, we will know whether we can keep him behind. But at the moment, anything can happen still. Perez and Verstappen still behind of the McLaren in front. There's not going to be any major things happening there. However, Charles Leclerc on this last and final straight. He's gonna close in, but he's not gonna close in enough. And I think if we don't make any mistakes anymore now, we should have the position. George Russell goes and wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. That should have been us. But hey, you can't have them all. And sometimes you will lose the car. And today was one of those races. We go over the line to get a P6 and to fight off. Charles Leclerc in the last and final lap. That is how we do it. All right, well, I mean, it wasn't the result we wanted. We are driver of the day, but um, 
That was tough. That was tough. That was yeah, tough. Remember, don't go anywhere because we are heading straight into the Belgium Grand Prix, which in my opinion is going to be even better because the uh, Belgium Grand Prix is always so a good track to do actual racing at. This is a, this is a tough track, right, to do racing. But we did some racing, all right? I'm telling you that. We did some racing. Uh, Sebons as well as Justy T. Boom. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. Where did you buy that steering Mercedes wheel? Are on top uh, I bought. Again, I bought it straight at the uh, the manufacturer. It's great to see uh, it's, uh, you can show it. Again. There you go. Look at that. It has my logo on it. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's called the GSI Hyper B1. As if I can get it back on my. There you go. Well, Russell wins. Verstappen gets more points than us. He's probably not going to overtake us in the championship, but yeah, that is not what we want, obviously. Now, let's take uh, a look at well, the he only gets standings. one more point that than us. We get three more points than Charles so Leclerc. Verstappen gets ten, we get nine, and Charles Leclerc gets six. So, um, wait, what? I thought we were driver of the day. Why did, really why did they call George today, Russell the driver of the day? To be honest, he came from P3 to P1. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's advance. Let's see where we are in the team championship or in the, the championship, the driver championship as well. Uh, we should be a bit closer, but we wanted to get way more points on Leclerc because he had an off race this time around. And when he has an off race, um, you know, we need to we need to make sure we, we gain. We need to make sure we gain. I'll stick to my Logitech. Hey, yo, I'm not saying you need to get the wheel, right? Somebody was asking where I bought it, so I'm telling you. Um... If I wasn't doing this as my job, I would 100% be running uh, with like a Fanatec uh, CSL DD or something or a Moza or a, or a Logitech, 100%, right? It is not needed at all. But if you are as addicted, right, as I am, then uh, this is a very good one. <laughs> all right, we uh, have a thousand points right here that we can spend and we are going to spend. So let me know what you think we should do. Uh, we can do chassis, uh, we can do something else. Actually, we cannot do chassis because we don't have enough money. Maybe the power? Nope, no money for power either. We have no monies. In the standings, we are now P2 again, 144 points. Charles Leclerc gets more points too and he is 196 in. We have 42 points of a deficit. So we gain some points actually we don't because i cannot count it's 53 points that's a that's a lot of points that's almost one third of the total amount of points that we have at the moment uh max Keck w what's up welcome in thank you for the follow as well no money for electricity i will say uh, the electricity bill ever since i started doing content has gone up quite a lot so uh <laughs> all right that's uh, that's definitely the case recently moved from pad yo i have some pretty good videos for those of you who want to get better at the game uh check out my youtube if you're on the youtube already and you're in a perfect place uh but um over there i have some videos helping you to get better at the game and i can tell you if you watch them you will get better all right if you follow my lead you guaranteed will become quicker or more consistent but yeah, uh, it's time to get started, guys. We're going to go and advance the time. Go to the Belgium Grand Prix right here, right now. Uh, 27. Skip an advance. Go to the race weekend. Round 13 at a track which I love. I actually went to the Belgium Grand Prix this year. Only on the Friday, though. Um, and it was a sprint race. So we had a qualifying session, which was epic. And it rained so much, it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. Uh, g Ment, Thank you for the follow, too. What's up? Welcome in. So you are the replacement for the worst Alpine F1 driver in this career mode? What do you mean? What do you mean? I just sent all, uh, Esteban Ocon on a vacation to Hawaii to make place for Tombina. That's it. Nothing, no, there's nothing bad about Ocon, okay? It was just Tombina needing a spot. Oh my goodness, ladies and gents, I think we're literally going to have the same as in real life this year or last year. Because look at this, it's gonna rain in the sprint race, full rain all the way from start to finish. It's gonna be dry in the race and dry in the qualifying. So that's gonna be very, very interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick. It's gonna take 30 seconds, but uh, we're gonna get into the practice session right here. We're gonna do one or two laps and we're gonna get straight into the qualifying session. I wanna hear from you in the chat right here, okay? From you in the chat. Oh my goodness, I really need to go to the toilet. Uh, 
Who do you think is going to be on the podium in Bahrain? Obviously, I'm going to go to Bahrain in two days. All right. Uh, who do you think is going to be on the podium? I'm going to say Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Lando Norris. Okay. See you in 30 seconds. Let me go to the toilet real quick. Boom. They told you about the new parts that have come in from the factory, right? Well, they're all fitted and good to go. I hope they do the trick. Cam. Yep, indeed. Uh, chair cam indeed. Well, no longer. You're gonna have this ugly guy to look at again. Hey! Drag Wegel, as well as Jibles. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Alright. Did you wash your hand? Of course not. Who do you think I am? Alright, let me put a uh, setup in. I believe we have a semi new one. Belgium, Belgium. You absolute legend. Hi, everyone. Wega, wega, wega. Death LV gifted a tier one sub to TH0. I think we have an old one, actually. This is their no, first fine. gift sub in the channel. Absolute legend. Their first gift and sub is to Tom with a flipping zero in, in the O. Bro, what is this? <laughs> what is this? You missed time, bro. Thank you so much, though, for the gift and sub that LV to my, uh, to, to, to my brother. I think. Right? Tom with a, with a zero instead of a no. And thank you for your very... Uh, <coughs> your very first gifted sub ever, man. I really appreciate that. Alright, we're gonna go out on track, guys. With 10 kilos in the car. We're gonna go on the medium tires. We're gonna do one or two laps. And then it's time for the qualifying. Oh, this track will be absolutely epic. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward. But thank you, man. I really appreciate that, uh, that LV. Not the first, you just don't know about the rest. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. We have had some uh, Noni Moose gifted subs in the past, yes. Anyway, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for, uh, for the support. That's very kind. I've got some very big plans, guys. Like, some very, very big plans. Uh, which... I'm not gonna share yet. Well, to be honest, I could. Because nobody's gonna be able to do it anyway. But... Whenever it happens... Ay, 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 ay. It will happen, though. Right? Just like, I will go to the moon someday. Alright? Uh, no, no, not to the moon. I will go to space someday. Alright? But... That doesn't... That doesn't... That doesn't matter for you, right? That doesn't matter for you. But what did... My, my other plans, all right? They will matter. And they will be really cool. All right. So we're out on track at the moment. We're going to go and put the ERS on none. And we're going to do one or two laps here. Actually, we're going to go and put it on medium. And we're going to do one lap without uh, setting it on um, hot lap. And then after that, we do a lap on hot lap. Anyway, 
It's great to be here if you're just joining in to the show of today. Um, you are joining in right on time because we're uh, just going to get started with the Belgium Grand Prix. We just did Hungary and we were Hungary for points, a little bit too Hungary because we lost the car. <laughs> Into the wall and we had some uh, front wing damage. Oh, watch out. North Pole F1 race confirmed. It's even bigger than that, okay? It's even bigger than that. Going to space? Yeah, I will do it someday in my life, okay? I know people are gonna be crazy, but it will happen. All right, let's go, uh, let's go hold lap mode right here then. Logan Sargent with a 147.1, here we go. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, well, that wasn't great. <laughs> that, that wasn't a great third one, but we're gonna try and see what we can, uh, what we can salvage here with this lap. See what pace we have, and then we'll go from there. But it should be a good track for us, I think in our career. Uh, legs! Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. One day we're going to see a donation bar for a big ass hot air balloon, aren't we? <laughs> I will never set foot in a hot air balloon, okay? I'm telling you now. I love doing anything, okay? But a hot air balloon, if you want to die, good luck. Go sit in a flipping hot air balloon. All right? I love planes and all that, but uh, hot air balloons, right? That is, uh, if you have a death wish, good luck. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. We are a little bit squiggly with the rear end. So far. This feels all right. Of course, around this track, you need to have a little bit of a balance between being quick in the corners and being quick on the straights. And at the moment, we're pretty quick in the corners because we are purple in the middle sector. Purple, purple. Uh, not too shabby. Please go out of the way, Sergeant. Bro, bro. What are you doing? I'm on a flipping old lap. And now I'm stuck on a curb. Oh my goodness. Sergeant! All right, we'll do uh, we'll do one more lap then. <laughs> one more lap with the whole lap enabled. I think we're gonna run out of uh, of the juice though. So we're gonna put it back to medium. We'll utilize a little bit here. Yo! Oh, welcome to the family. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Go cool as we completely cut, cut the track right there. That, that's what practice is for, guys. Uh, comes in with a 10 month resub at tier one as well. Thank you so much for the 10 month resub, uh, uh, Go cool. And coming back and saying, Tom, I am back for more. I appreciate you, man. And welcome back in. Oh my god, what are we doing? Wow, that was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. I'm ready. I'm flipping ready. Or I'm done. Either one of those two. Or maybe both at the same time. I'm done and ready, okay? With a flipping practice session. We are going to go and qualifying right here. Oh my god! It's not feeling great. <laughs> it's not feeling great. <laughs> All right. Well, where are we going to finish up then? Actually, I think... Didn't we, did we even do a lap here? We did a lap 16 seconds slower than everybody else. Well... Okay then, Pierre Gasly Fun ends up in P2. Look, I told you, I told you we have a good car this time around. Pierre Gasly on the mediums is in P2, so that means that easy clap. We've got we've got some pace in the back, right? We've got some pace in the back. If we don't get pole position right here, then um, I don't know what is wrong. Well, actually, maybe it's Oscar Pierre. I don't know. Let's see. All right, let's advance and let's see if we can do another amazing qualifying. I'm ready and I'm flipping excited. How do you feel about the season? Because it seems all is bottoming. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen the first race yet, though. But it looks like uh, it looks like Alpine will not start with uh, an amazing uh, pace. You know, they said it themselves, right? It's not even like. Oh yeah, let's see, let's see. Uh, we've seen last year that McLaren can can also do a lot of 
upgrades throughout the season. Alpine is normally really good at doing upgrades throughout the season. They, no they normally don't start amazing. And then they do a lot of upgrades throughout the season. Uh, and they are, you know, winning or uh, getting podiums and stuff. Last year was two podiums. The year before, I believe, got, got a podium as well. What does it win? I don't know. Anyway, it should be all right. But yeah, the start will be a bit tough, I think. But I don't know. I don't have any insights into the performance, so... Let's see. I'm excited to see where what the grid looks like, though, in uh, in Bahrain. What is for for effect, though? Is that we're gonna have some good racing, hopefully. Imagine Alpine is doing what McLaren did. I mean, look, I think uh, it's possible. Anything is possible. We've seen it happen last year with multiple teams. And also the other way around, starting strong and then dropping down. Actually, that was this, that was the case with Alpine. They started really really well, and then they dropped down a little bit at the end. Uh, I expect them to be uh, to be there at some point in the season again. Uh, Larry's, uh, what up, Larry? Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? We have a team order prediction yet. We are uh, in this race. Well, last race we had a multi sixty nine right here. All right, that's our team order. Multi sixty nine means get the flip out of the way. Yeah, guys, he was not really doing it. So let's see. All right, it's time for qualifying because, uh, of course, this is a sprint race, right? So we're going to do qualifying, eight laps of sprint race, and then 22 laps of the Belgium Grand Prix. A warm welcome for those of you who are joining in right now. Make sure you hit that follow button because tomorrow we will do the Bahrain Grand Prix prediction race. I know everybody looks forward to the Bahrain Grand Prix, but we will do the Bahrain Grand Prix prediction race. And we will have the 2024 liveries in the game. So basically, it's actual the actual 2024 Bahrain Grand Prix tomorrow. So it's going to be good fun. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go. All right. We're in the qualifying right now. We're going to do two laps, right? So what we did last time as well. One at the start, one at the end. Hopefully the first one will be good enough to kind of put a good banker in. And then we can improve and get that P1. Last time in, in Hungary, we did get the pole position. We're on 106 AI right here for Belgium. And it is normally a tough trek. In terms of the pace of uh, of the competition, so let's see if we'll have enough pace. Let's see what the, we are with fuel. Okay, we are a little bit, uh, as you can see right here, uh, a little bit high. Ten kilos we did, but now we're on five. So we're gonna go out on track, and I want to do a prediction with you in right, the chat. The car's ready. Can we qualify in the top three here? Yes or no? We could not really show or even see our qualifying pace yet in the practice because we uh, put it in the wall. On purpose. Because <laughs> it got triggered. But well, let's see what it is now. Seabus coming in with a full one year um, subscription. Thank you so much. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Wega, wega, wega. It's not over yet. After Seabus. Oh my god. They have given two gift subs in the channel. This guy's trolling, man. Trolling with gifted subs. Are you serious? He's flipping trolling with gifted subs. Dead LV coming in with the gifted sub to thumb the dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I saw uh, I saw a uh, a video on TikTok. All right, Tom on tour. I don't know if you've seen it. I put it in the Discord, uh, and it's like a hammer Tom, like mine, going on tour and doing uh, little videos everywhere they go. Maybe I should start it like that as well. Thump the dump. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. That LV for the gift and stuff to thump the dump. And uh, as he was, we're coming in with the 12 month resub. Welcome back in. Prediction is up. Get voting as the hype train is close. Water in quality than, than cooking in the race. Yeah, that's Tom style, isn't it? Thing is, though, like in the creator series race, for example, I actually thought I was doing a good job, and then I'm literally P13. Like, well, well, well. I don't know where you guys get the pace from in qualifying, like... And then where I get the pace from in the race, like... It doesn't make any sense. But luckily it's like that and not the other way around. Alright, it's time, ladies and gents, for the first lap. We're gonna go and warm up those puppies, because those puppies need to hold up for the entirety of the lap. I'm gonna go hot lap mode, we're gonna do a long turn right here, and we're gonna get straight onto the power. Here we go then, for the first lap in qualifying. Let's do it! Into third gear, close to the inside on the power straight away. 
What the flip is this? DRS damage. We have no rear wing. Are you serious? Should we should we abort the lap, guys? We have no DRS. We have no DRS right here in qualifying. What we do have, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep going. We had Guangyu Zhou as a slipstream. We had Guangyu Zhou as a slipstream, guys. We had Guangyu Zhou as a slipstream. A little bit wide right here. A little bit wide. A little bit very wide. We keep the car going, though. It's a green first sector. We have DRS damage, or at least the rear wing is not working. All right, you know what? Abort. It's time to abort. It's time to abort. Box this lap. Box this right, lap. It's all lap going down, bruh. It's all going down. Oh, my goodness. The DRS is unavailable. The, is unavailable. Down, so the rear wing is down. Fix. Yep, you can see it right here. All right, we're going to go back into the pits. They can fix the rear wing, and then we can do a lap. We don't have enough fuel anymore anyway, so we need to put a little bit more fuel in the car for the next run. But oi, 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 oi. The Belgium Grand Prix qualifying has not gone to plan so far. Literally, bruh. It literally, bro it literally broke right as we went into turn one, getting ready to use the DRS after that. All right. I think they are going to fix it, right? Don't tell me we're going to get back out on track here and the flippin' DRS is not fixed. Why do we always get those issues, huh? It's shut, which is even worse. I would rather have it open at Belgium. They don't fix it? Are you serious? No, no way. I need... Well, we did get a good slipstream, to be honest. And then, and then we were like... I was hoping it was open after the spin. Yeah, nah, I, I went over the curb too hard. I wanted to I wanted to make up a little bit too much time there. Oh, here we go. One minute. DRS fault. Let's skip the repair time. We've had to spend time repairing the damage to the car. Okay. All right, and let's go out on track. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hot okay, uh, 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 out left. Boom. Come on now. A warm walk to me. Thank you for joining in right now in the Alpine F1 driver road to glory career. This is Belgium, the second round of today. And the last round, we unfortunately lost the car. We had to come through the field, did a comeback, but we're fighting for the championship, so we cannot afford that. We cannot afford that, but we have to at the moment. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What the flip is this? I had to wait one minute. And it's still broken. Engineer, repeat. They they will work on a fix remotely. They literally had to go to flipping garages now. What do you mean? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's fixed. It's fixed, ladies and gents. Oh, I just spat on my on my screen. Okay, let me take it off. Okay, it's gone. All right, the spit the spit is gone. All right, it's fixed now. Carl Sainz gets the fastest lap. What was it? What was the fastest lap? Fastest lap overall. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 141. 141. Sorry, oh, never mind. 140.9. Right Charles Leclerc goes quicker. Our championship rival. Our championship rival is in P1. Spit has been spat, indeed. I need to clean. I need to clean my wheel, man. There's so much spit on my little LED screen. Anybody, anybody with a wheel who is a streamer with an LED screen on the wheel can tell can tell me right now there is so much spit on that flipping wheel uh, LED screen. Right, right. Yep. That is very correct. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's get ready. Ladies and gents, let me know in the chat right now on a scale of 1 to 10 where we're we gonna be. Right here. Hold lap mode on. And here we go then for the lap all Belgium. I'm gonna put it down to 56%.
Let's go a little bit wide. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. A little bit slow there. It's a banker, though. It is a banker. Come on, come on. All right, here we go. Doing the drift meta. <laughs> it didn't really work, to be honest. It didn't really work. We're now 10% on the tires already as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, keep her going. Keep her rolling. Remember, it's going to be a banker. We do not have the new tires right here. Okay, come on. Beautiful. On to the right hand side. Go back over the curb. Keep the car rolling. Lose the car almost. Over the curbs again. Beautiful stuff. Corner cutting. Shut up! It was clean, man. What do you mean? It's green, green. It's no purple. What is it going to be? There's more time to be gained, though. There's more time to be gained. But we're going to go through the last two turns to get, ladies and gentlemen, the VRS opening up over the line. It's going to be a P... Oh, what the flip is this? P15 with a 142.5. Ay, ay, ay. It must be the tires. 11%. That's going to be way slower, isn't it? All right, we're going to return to the garage. Return to the garage. And we're going to put some brand new tires on one lap and one lap only right here. B15! How is that possible? How much slower is it, actually? It is... Oh, my goodness. 1.5 seconds. Where are we losing time? Turn one. Okay. Turn two. Okay. Uh, or uh, Sector two. Okay. Sector 3. Ooh, Sector 3 is slow. Uh, who's also very slow? No, it's not Max Verstappen who's slow. Uh, we are just very slow in, this, in the last sector. So we need to we need to get some time here. 1.1 1. 1 second. They should be quicker, the brand new tires. Oi, oi, oi. How did this guy win a Creator Series Championship? How did this guy absolutely demolish Alex Gillion in the Imola Grand Prix? How did he do it? Oh, it was not even that hard. He completely went on a different strategy. Couldn't even, couldn't even pit when he had to. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get it back twice as hard now. All right, let's go and um, get out on track right here. We're gonna accelerate the time to about two and a half minutes. Here we go. Boom. And then we have to send it because our teammate Pierre Gasly is in P8. He's six tenths of a second. Isn't this the guy that got knocked out in Q2? Yet he still finished in front of you by like a lot of seconds. That's even better. Thank you for thank you for this layup right here to dunking on you even harder. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? Insufficient. All set. We're ready to no! go. No. Wait. Oh my God. You. Li Oh my goodness, it's yours sincerely coming in the meantime with a flipping raid. Yo, welcome in, ladies. Thank you so much for the raid. Yours sincerely, you came at the perfect time because we are about to do a lap if we can make it. Because it, it looks like we're not gonna make the, the timing right here. Well, this is gonna be very, 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 very close. Let's see if we can make it. What do you reckon? Put a number one in the chat if you think we can make this out lap. We have to cut the field. We have to cut the track. I hope your I hope your stream was amazing and a warm welcome in to those of you who are joined in just now. You're joining into the Belgian Grand Prix in the Alpine Road to Glory career. We are going to cut the track as much as we can. Otherwise, we have a problemo. Let's make sure we don't lose the car. And we're fine. Come on now. Come on now. Let's keep going. Come on. It's okay. We have to do it, guys. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. It's okay. This lap, this lap. K 
can be gone. It can be illegal. It's okay. I don't think we can cut here, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, no, we can't. No! It's over. Oh, it's over! Oh, my goodness. Five plates get penalty! What do you mean? Wait, what? What happened? Verstappen crashed? Wait, what? Is this Max Verstappen? Oh. Oh, I didn't see that. I had my hands in my flipping, in my flipping head, bro. All right, let's see. Let's let's see. What did Verstappen do here? Where is he? Oh, here he is. I mean, come on. So much pace on the right. So much pace on the right. Just put the racing line to the right a little bit, man. Come on. <laughs> no! Okay, we're starting last then, guys. What do we think here? What do we think? Should we go? And, um... Where is he? I think I think he was still stuck here. I think he retired, actually. Should we go and uh, put a brand new engine in, guys? Should we put a brand new engine in right here? Let me know. I think we need I think we need a new engine right here. Get a penalty. Start all the way for the back in Spa, and then go from there. Yes, you think we should? Of course, new engine. Yes, yes, yes. You mean Rebel needs a new driver? Yes, indeed. It was his fault, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now well, we I thought I was stuck on the right hand side right there. Wait, Carlos Sainz got a five place good penalty as well. Sides. Deserved. Goodbye Absolutely now, deserved. I want to see why he got that. Why Make did sure he get that? He was tomorrow. illegal blocking. Yep. That's what he did. And he is going to be punished for it. All right. Let's advance. Let's get into the team headquarters and let's go and start from the back then. For the Belgium Grand Prix, nobody wanted, but uh, I mean, uh, it was uh, it was doomed to to get started with, wasn't it? Oh my goodness! All right, Pierre Gasly gets a good P5, Charles Leclerc gets the pole position, and we are now gonna lose more points in the championship compared to Charles Leclerc. He's literally on fire this season. It's crazy. I don't know why, but he's demolishing Max Verstappen. We are even demolishing Max Verstappen. Okay, well, quite literally right there. We are definitely gonna stay in front of Max Verstappen if he uh, if he just keeps hitting us right there like that. You know, in the championship. That would be great. But uh, let's go to the quick practice. And let's get some R&D points. And let's go for that W, baby. Let's go for that W. Uh, it's Reese as well as Rusty Johnson. Thank you so much for the follow. What's up? Welcome in. Um, we are going to go and get some R&D points at the moment. And then, remember... You're not watching a stream. You're watching a show. Yo, so get your popcorn. Get your milkshake. Because it's time to go for the sprint race because there's two races we're gonna do a sprint race and then the main race in belgium yep indeed all right i think actually we got all the yeah we got all the uh, the practice programs done easy spent r d points on session timer reaction please yeah it's all it always happens like that man i'm gonna put it down to alex because alex was was uh, distracting me man alex was distracting me you forgot the hand signals for the milkshake? As, especially after you are saying it right now, you're, I'm not going to do that because you're going to flip and clip it or whatever. Right? And you're going to put like some kind of music underneath it. Yeah, I know exactly what you're up to, mate. I know exactly what you're up to. All right, we are getting ready. Round 13, we're halfway through the season. Okay, mate. So unfortunately we've picked up some grid penalties. And we already have grid penalties, so let's go and take a brand new engine. Get yet, that's gonna depend on everyone else. All we can do is control our own performance. Yep. And I know you're good at that. Wait. Should we take an engine penalty? No, we no, we are, we are, we are, we are. This is the time. Today is the time. Today is the time. Yeah, you're right. That's why I'm saying we're gonna get the engine penalty after the sprint rate, ladies and gents. So if we do very good in the sprint race and we are we go up to P8, then we still start last in the main race. Alright, number one. Put a number one in the chat if you think we should take the engine penalty regardless. Number two, if you think no Tom, do not take the engine penalty. 
start on, we're starting like P P20 anyway, right? For the sprint race. Regardless, just take it. Okay. We will do it then. One, one, one. Okay. Okay. Uh, 2,000 points we have at the moment. What should we spend it on? We're going to try and see if we can spend it on the chassis. We need some improved energy store cells. No clue what it means, but it must mean something good. We're going to go rush and we're going to see if we're going to get it before the Dutch Grand Prix, which will be the next one after this race. We need some chassis in our life. All engine parts, you must change. Didn't we, didn't we just do that? I don't know. Oh, we, we forgot that one. Now we forgot that one. I don't know how we forgot those, but now we have everything. Good stuff. Thank you for, uh, for reminding me. All right, grid penalty. It's going to be rainy in the sprint race, so we can get as many positions as possible. Tell your cat, tell your dog, tell your future grandkids, tell your grandma, because the grandmas love me, okay? That we are going to be getting ourselves into this Belgium Grand Prix. Halfway through the season, we just negotiated our contract. Alpine didn't want us. So we put less. We put less monies. And then they did want us. I don't understand why. Because we did very good so far in the championship. But they didn't want us. For two millis. So they gave us 1.8. It's okay. It's only a house we're missing out on right there. Okay. It's only like 200,000. Not a lot. Okay. It's okay. But here we go. A warm welcome. If you're joining in just now, my name is Tom, and people also call me well, the bomb. The Why do they do that? Because today. I am sexy, and because we are going to win this race around the Belgium Grand Prix. This it's rainy, just like the real-life Grand Prix in 2023. So let's go and see where we are going to be on the grid. It should be an easy one. It should be lost, but in the P1 and P2 and P3, I want to see as well. It's going to be Charles Leclerc, I think, on P1. Yes, it is. On the right-hand side, Charles Leclerc, P1, and George Russell. And then, where's Max Verstappen going to be? Our other championship rival. He's going to be a little bit further down. P6 and our teammate P5. All right, that's all we need to know. Let's get a... Tire on. Okay, Wait, what? We've got that relief of having points on the board finally. So let's keep that form up. And Bro, what the flip is this? Why is it dry? Now we're playing at 106 AI. I put it up one, but I, I can't be asked to change the command every single time. 106. But, um, why is it dry? Or at least, why is it raining? But why is it dry into the tires? What is this? All right, we have to go on the softs then, guys, right? We have to go on the softs. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Hards? Looks like bait. I mean, everybody's going to be on the dry tires. They have to. Because we cannot choose to go onto the... Um, on, on, onto the wets right now. I'm going to put the fuel down a little bit, put it up to, put it down to 9. And then I think it's, it's time for softs. And then we stay out on the softs for as long as possible. Uh, because it, it's, it's got to be intermediate. It's got to be intermediate, so we have to go and use the softs right there. It would be dumb if we're not going to go and um, utilize the softs. So let's go and get started, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know right now, where do you think we are going to go and finish in this race? With indeed, like Alex said, it is a rare scenario. It is raining, but it's dry for the moment. How long do we okay, need so for it to be cycles. wet? So I think on one or two laps. But we might be wrong. Wait, what? I'm starting P17. Oh, yeah, we are starting P17. We're only going to get the grid penalty in the main race. So uh, wherever we finish, add on to that uh, another 50 grid slots. We're going to start back in Austria. Most likely. But maybe in Hungary. Depending on how well we do. Can you pit on the formation lap? Unfortunately, you cannot. But that would be a really cool feature in the future. Uh, because these scenarios, believe it or not, it is rare. But these happen more often than not. Like, if, if I have this scenario, I will pit on the flipping first lap for intermediates. Box this lap. Box this lap. Sorry? No, don't do that. What good would that do? We can't do anything to the car and we have a race to get on with. <laughs> do not try to come in, just form up on the grid, okay? Box this lap anyway. Box. Box this lap. Okay, message. you just ignore me now. Okay then! I see how it is. 
Let's warm up those stars because we need some uh, heat in those puppies. As you can see right now, they are cold as ice. Ice Ice Baby, you know the song. Dun 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 dun. Yep. Dun 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 dun. And what are the lyrics? Indeed, ice, 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 like ice, baby. Indeed. Weather report, weather report. This rain can be with us for a while. Light rain conditions for the Yeah, it's going to be intermediate easily. Okay, not sure whether dries or inches are faster. They don't know yet whether dries or inches are faster. It is definitely raining though. Which lap do you think we should pit? Do you think it's going to be on lap one? Do you think it's going to be on lap two? Do you think it's going to be on lap three? I would love to know. Let me know in the chat right now. But a very unique situation right here. As the track is wet. For the wets. We are starting all the drivers on the softs, on the mediums, on everything else. But no wets. Eight laps from start to finish. But there will be pit stops. I'm telling you now. Personally. I'm thinking. That lap one will be the one. Or maybe now. Maybe we should pit. Let's see. They won't take us in the pit lane. Great. What the flip is this? All right. Then we do some evacuation. Here we go. Into our grid slot. Okay, we still failed. Okay, well, here we go then for the start of the Belgium Grand Prix. The lights are gonna go on right here then in the wet weather. Boom! Oh, it's slow. It's very slow right now as we go for a good move right here. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We go for plenty of moves up the inside right here. And that is gonna be B11. Oh man, those medians are not warmed up whatsoever. They're three wide right here, they, though. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? We're gonna go on the left-hand side of Norris. Try and see if they're not gonna be able to slow down too. Oh my god! Sonora stays alive just about. My guy, what the flip are you doing? We're in the DRS right now. We're in the slipstream. I mean, into the Saka. of Sonora. We're gonna utilize all the battery. Go to the right-hand side. Break deeper. Don't break too deep. We're going to break deep enough to just about get the move on Sonora. And that is P9 at the moment. Now we're gonna try and close into the car of Hamilton. All of these drivers on the medium tire thinking they're gonna make it to the end of the race. But I'm telling you now, they are not. Well, maybe they are, but not on those tires. Not on those tires. What the flip is happening? One more position. And we're up into the point scoring positions right here and then we're gonna get dropped again we're gonna get dropped again for the main race due to i think it's i think uh, i think we're not gonna have to pit yet guys it's still it's still feeling good it's still feeling good i think it's feeling good still Or not, I don't know. Weather report, weather report. Weather report. We'll be seeing at least 20 minutes of Yo, they're wrapping in the straight, man. Which is the best tire right now, dries or inches? They don't know yet. Which ones are the best tires? Oh my god! I didn't even want to go for the move there. We do do it though. Not even a single touchy touchy, and we get P8 from Lewis Hamilton. I didn't even want to go for the move, I, I break too late. Beautiful. All right, now it is going to be lap two. We're right behind our step at the moment. Holy Jesus! Let me know in the meantime in the chat where are you watching this crazy race from right now? I can tell you right now, we have the most international chat in the entirety of the world right here let me know where are you watching from i see greece i see austria as you go purple right here we are still going quicker so i don't think it's time to go onto those wet tires yet i see senegal australia slovakia as we go up the inside right now of the car of mac verstappen our championship rival and boom we are in the p7 beautiful absolutely beautiful Remember, this is only the sprint race. There's eight laps after this. We've got the main race to go and worry about as well. But that one will be dry. This one is in very interesting conditions at the moment. Uzi, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. I see uh, Denmark, Canada, all over the galaxy. A warm welcome. Philippines, UK. 
Great to have you here, wherever you are from, as we start losing the car now. Still green, though. We're still green. And we, I can keep the throttle up through the corner, so... I, I don't know if it's time to box yet. Weather report. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Okay, not sure whether tries or engines are faster. We're right on the crossover. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Right here, we're gonna do it! This is it, ladies and gents. I, I couldn't even say, box this lap, box this lap. We're gonna go and do it. The other is enabled. Oh, I thought it was disabled. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Into the pits we go. Three, two, one. 2.7. I'm telling you, this is the one, guys. This is the one. This is literally the one. This is the one. All right, here we go. Stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Boom! Tell me it's the wrong car in two laps. Okay, DRS will be enabled with this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS. Zone. Tell me it's the wrong decision in two laps. Okay, right here. Relax. We know what we're doing. Julius is on a simply lovely. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. Look how much time we're gaining. I think I could have even pitted the, fir pit the first lap to be quicker here, almost. We're gaining, we're gaining, we're gaining! Come on! This lap right here is one of the most important laps that we are going to be doing today. We need to hurry up. We've got the pace at the moment. We're pretty rapid. Will it be the right call? Okay, Purple! Right yep, it was the right call. Tell me I'm wrong now! Huh? Tell me I'm wrong! Alright, let's go. You're wrong? Get up! Into third gear. He be close to the inside. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Purple, 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 purple. Question is though, will they even pit in general? Weather report, weather report. Weather report. So this rain could be with us for a while. Light rain conditions for the foreseeable future. We're not certain which is the best tie right now. Dries or inters. Ooh la la. It looks like they're not pitting. Or are they? What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Wega, wega, wega. Jordan Millie gifted a tier one sub to you, Ari Wong. They have given two gifts subs wrong. in the channel. I'm not wrong. Jordan coming in with a gifted sub. So you are not wrong. Thank you very much for the gifted sub right there. Absolute legend. Come on, Tom. Five laps of fuel remaining. We gotta start gaining time now, man. Come on. We're not gaining enough. Four point six. The the longer we go, the more time we're gonna gain. We're green. But how are we green? Is somebody going quicker than us? Wait, is somebody going quicker than us? Weather report. We'll be seeing at least 20 minutes of light rain. Okay, not sure whether tries or inters are faster. We're right on the crossover. They still don't know, guys. They still don't know. Boom! Nobody's going quicker than us! That's what I'm saying. Now, we are right behind the car of Kevin Magnussen. In the meantime, if you're enjoying yourself, make sure you hit that follow button. The overtake will happen right here, right now. We are on a different strategy. We're going to go on the intermediates, and they are on the dry tires. Let's see what we can do. 
No battery to overtake. Don't worry. We're doing it in the corners. We're slow in the, in the straights anyway. We will see the overspeed we have in the corners very, very soon. Look how slow we are in the straight. Oh my goodness. Bro, they're still pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, come on now. Weather report. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. We're not certain which is the best tire right now. Dries or inters. Number one. Come on. Lap six, seven, and eight to go. Bruh, what? Why is there such a big gap to the car uh, in in the, in the front pack? That's crazy. Into third gear we go. Little bit of a slide. The RS is still open. Bruh, these weather conditions are really, really treacherous. Even on the inters. As we go a little bit deeper. Around the outside. Now okay, is Daniel Ricardo. We're gonna go for it already. Oh my goodness. Why you stick your nose in there? You know I've got you, man. Come on. Alright. Into the DRS of Botas. We're now in P17. Lots of overtakes to do still. It's only gonna be better for us, guys. It's only gonna get better for us. From here. That's P16. Three laps to go. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Come on now, come on. Weather report. Okay, so this light rain is going to be with us for a while now. Okay, not sure whether tries or inches are faster. We're right on the crossover. They still are on the crossover. I don't believe... I don't believe the rain... The rain is falling so quickly, though. How is it still right, dry right, tires? Right, shorter run to the inside. There we go. That's number 15. A little bit of a drift, but it's okay. Look how much more speed we have in the slow corners. Okay, be aware. The grip levels are going to start... Jesus! Come on now. Come on. Two laps to go. I'm telling you, plenty things possible still. Ooh, a little bit wide, a little bit wide. Tiger boys, what is STF Krakadalan? Take me to follow as well. Oh man, we should have got we should have sent it more there. Then we would have been ahead of Sunoda already by now. We are improving at this time. As in, we're doing quicker laps. All right, up the inside now of Yuki Tsunoda. Oh, la, la. Oh, my goodness. Oh man, we're, we're struggling now. What is the rear? Oh, what the flip is this tire wear? Fifty percent.
Let's get Guang Yu Zhou. But I don't think, ladies and gents, this was the one in the end. Ay, 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 ay. MVP for the Tiger Boy. Thank you for the follow as well. We are going to have one more opportunity here. Guang Yu Zhou. I was not wrong. But it just didn't pan out the way we wanted. It could have been good. If we went for overtakes more efficiently, we pitted around this position as well, right? Remember. Green, green, green. We need people to start spinning now. Okay, As we go up the inside now of the car of Guang Yu Zhou, drifted through the corner. Oh, that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Ah man, this could have this could have literally been an epic, epic, epic win if we didn't get held up that much. Because we do have more pace than them, right? We do have more pace. However, cutting through the field is not as easy as it always seems. And we are P11 at the moment in the last and final lap. Lap eight out of eight. This was the sprint race. We're gonna start at the back of the grid due to our grid penalty in the belgian grand prix itself but i know for a fact though that we are gonna gain a lot of positions in that race give it four more laps we would have overtaken the entirety of the field all right alex bombastic thank you for the follow as well what's up charles leclerc wins the race and he gets eight points we get zero that means charles leclerc gets more points once again in the championship and he gets away from us over the line p11 i mean regardless whether we stayed out or not it would have been a tough race but we were not wrong we were not wrong even the game even the game says it driver of the day don't go anywhere because we are getting straight away into the main race which should be as epic if not epicer epic here as this one you're faster than the ai on dry tires still yes yes for a few laps so then, before the tires said bye bye we have 90 percent of tire wear my my strategy on the softs was always going to be further with this result the grid overtake them at the start just leaves the bit for intermediates then go to the end we'll be because he's with all the soft tires in the wet no way you're going to get to the end with the tire wear no way but uh pierre gasly doing very very good look at that tom should have got involved with the cs debate no 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 i do not like drama at all i did one message i get drama straight away no more epic epic driving we did our best we did our best what's the weather like for the race the race is going to be dry all the way from start to finish so we can kind of go through the grid slowly but surely drama yeah that was some creator series drama yesterday instigated by alice gillion ah it was no drama but it was debates i hate debates i remember in school i used to do the i used to have to do debates but stuff i didn't care about ah oh, the worst day ever it's debate day ah oh, shut up i just want to sit there relax okay Best days, the debate days. I hate the, deba the debate days. Uh, coo coo coo. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome okay, in. Mate, Good to have you here. 22 we laps. And we picked up some grid penalties for back. that 22 lap race. As you can see, we are now 60 points behind. 60 points. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a big amount. We're going to have to gain it back. I know what you guys are trying to do right now. All right, I'm not saying it. All right, I'm not saying that. Let's go though. Uh, 22 laps right here, ladies and gents. Tell your cat, tell your dog, tell your future grandkids. This is the one, the Belgium Grand Prix. We have done a lot of racing in the last three hours, but this will be the big one. Have you ever reset your wheel on the straight at Imola? <laughs> not yet. Pen, how how does that work? <laughs> how does that work? Can I do it? Ah, 
a little bit of water. I got a, I got a little bit of a headache. I don't know why. I think it's Alice Gillen in my chat giving me a headache. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you think Meraki or Team at Mark deserve the title last season? No, none of them. All right, none of them. The only deserved. It's okay, look, Alex, I'll give you one thing right here. The only deserved winners of the Creator Series is you and me. Because they, those suckers, right? Season one was eight rounds. Eight rounds is not a championship, okay? Season uh, four was 10 rounds. What is this? 10 rounds. Right? Season two and season three, right? I am the one with the longest round championship, okay? But you at least did a championship with more rounds than 10, okay? 10, is, 10 rounds is not a championship. So we're the only championship of the creator series right here. That's the only thing I'll give you right there, okay? Fantastic effort from Charlotte Who deserves champ this season? The championship is voided. George Russell, who starts this right? event from P2. The championship is voided. Too short. It's too short. But here we go then. We're on to the race right here. And Sainz got a penalty, of course. He got that five-place grid penalty. Uh, then we got the car of Charles Leclerc. Who is going to be at the front of the grid. We are going to be all the way at the back. In P20. But that means we have to go do some good overtakes. So we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Is this Drive to Survive of Creator Series? Hopefully someday. Creator Series will be big enough so that we can have Drive to Survive. And then we can do reviews. I know one five gifted a tier one sub to Alex underscore they Alex have given Killion subs in is now part of the family. Oh yeah, Hawks fan. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. 11 in total. Absolute legend. Okay, Thank you so much, we man. I know what you welcome can in, do. Alex. Don't let me down. He would like to refund his sub. That's not what I like to hear. If we made all the races of Creator Series into one season, then I would be the ultimate champion. Just because you have no life, mate. <laughs> you went to almost all the races. Right? That's how I can do it as well. I missed like half of them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, or am I? Okay, let's go and get started, though. Uh, I'm thinking one stop right here, ladies and gents. What do we do? I think we should do medium to hard. What, do we, what, do we, what should we do right here? What should we do? What should we do? Should we go medium to hard? Or... With medium to hard, we have a, an opportunity to go medium to soft still. Let's say there's a safety car, right? We can go from there. I think that's a good one. But let me know in the chat, guys. Let me know in the chat. What do you reckon? Soft, medium? If we do soft, medium, we have to use the softs. And the so like the tire wears pretty is, is a lot here. So I'm thinking medium hard will be better. It's showing it's going to be 8 and slower, but that's not really going to be it. Because, you know, medium to hard, 8 and Warthog says. Okay, let's do medium to hard. And let's get started. Let's do it. Thomas getting thrown under the bus. <laughs> Uh-oh, now, now I'm getting involved. In actual drama. No, I hate drama, man. Unless it's not got me involved. <laughs> no, I don't like drama, man. What is really cool, though, about the Drive to Survive season this year is, like, the insights you get into the contract negotiations and stuff. For me, that's something they've never been able to show before. I really, really enjoy that this season in Drive to Survive. I don't enjoy, like, the racing. The racing part of Drive to Survive. Because I've already watched it. Bit over-dramatized, you know. But, like, the contract negotiations and, like, uh, all the stuff in the, uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the middle, in the pedal, that's cool. Stop spoiling. What do you mean I'm spoiling? I'm not spoiling what's happening. That's yeah, season six now. Number one, no if you've already expected. watched the no uh, Drive to Survive season, or if you've started watching it. Number two, if you have not and you're gonna do it soon. Number three, if you're like, what the flip is Drive to Survive? Tom, you need to Drive to Survive. All right. TwitchCon tickets just went live, by the way, with Tom in Rotterdam. Ooh. I mean, I'm probably gonna be the only one who's gonna go, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> or maybe if you want to come, we will be the only ones. Nobody else wants to come with us. Just leaving us hanging. Uh, Nayez Buck as well as I am Diaz. Thank you for the follow as well as well as Zero Ice T. Thank you for the follow too. What's up? When is it? Uh, some in June or something. June, July? No, oh, I don't think it's... Uh, I don't know. Is it during a race weekend? TwitchCon? When is it, guys? Is anybody going to TwitchCon Rotterdam? Maybe you're from the Netherlands, maybe? You're going there? I don't think a lot of people who are in my community would be going to TwitchCon. I've done... I've went there tw two years now. Not a lot of people have, 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 have recognized me. Maybe I don't have a lot of fans, you know, but... <laughs> you know? But, um... It's not really the community that goes to TwitchCon. It's not really my community, I don't think, right? Right? You guys are not average Twitch viewers. It is what it is, you know? You guys are beyond. All right, we're going to go and get ourselves into a grid slot. Ladies and gents, get ready for the race. Ra Again! The lights are going to go on right here then for the start of the Belgium Grand Prix. Can we get positions? Come on, let's go. Beautiful start right there on those medium tires. We're going to try and go up the inside. All right. You know, normally I do not restart, but I swear this is one of them. All right, here we go. Here we go then, nothing happened, we're gonna get started right here with the start of the Belgium Grand Prix. Can we do a good start? What's it gonna be? Here we go, let's do it. Here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, we got... Oh my... Hamilton! Again! Alright, we're gonna go up the inside then, over a couple of drivers. Try and see if we can gain some position, it's a very good start right here, we're up to P15 already. Oi, 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 oi! All right, P15, right behind the Voltaz. We got Sergeant right behind two and P16. They are using all the battery right here to start. So we have to use a little bit as well. Legend, how are you doing? Wega, wega, wega. SJ1420 gifted SJ, a SJ, coming in with a gifted sub to They have given five gifted subs in the channel. Thank you so much, man. Five gifted subs in total as well. Absolutely legendary. Now, on the left-hand side, Oh my goodness, we tried to go for the overtake, but we get some honors there getting and picking up those marbles. We have to try and regain the position on the car over Logan Sargent, and we do so. Back in P15, but we need to be way quicker with those overtakes if we want to catch up to the front back here, and we want to, I'm telling you now. Come on! If you're joining in right now, by the way, a warm welcome to the Alpine Road to Glory F1 driver career. We are in round 13 here, trying to get as many positions as possible because we're fighting in the championship or P2. And we're 60 points behind of P1. So we have to go and finally start gaining some points on Charles Leclerc, who is the championship leader, who is also leading this race right now. So uh, as it stands, we're going to have a tough time. But we ain't getting out of the way of any challenges. And over Liam, as well as uh, DRZ, Jaden, as well as Binky. What's up? Welcome in. Good to have you here. All right. Let's send it on the inside now, then. Of the car, both as. That is one position done. These next positions should be fairly easy. Knowing that um, we have a quicker car. Teammate status. Teammate status. On the inside, then. Boom. P13. They're currently fifth. Time last lap was a 1 minute 48.2. Alright, come on. Come on, come on. We can do this. Joe got a little bit of a better exit through. Oh my goodness. He's defending everywhere. We're gonna try to re overtake him. Break him deep, leave him some space. Boom! That is P12. Come on. That is P12. Great maneuver. You made it look so Let's easy. go, baby. Come on, come on. What happens? Uh, we have a grid penalty from the qualifying because we used a brand new engine after we did a bad qualifying. We qualified P17 or P15 even. Um, so that meant we could take a grid penalty and we're ta we've taken it now. We're already up once again, back into P12 and lap 2 with a 22. We have 20 left remaining. 
But I'm telling you, we ain't staying here. No, no, no. We are going to go and reach for the skies. We're gonna reach for the stars. Yeah. Broki! Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Look at the top three, though. The top three have driven away. Or is it top four? It might be top four, even. They're way in front. You can see it on the minimap. As we go to the right-hand side, we go for the move once again here. Not on Sargent, but on Albono. As Russell gets the fastest lap right here. Yeah, I think it's the top three who, who are driven, driving, driving away a little bit. At the moment. One more position and we're in the points. We came from P20 all the way. After an incredible start. And a restart. <laughs> But we ain't even already started anymore. The DRS opens up. Alonso has DRS as well. We're gonna go to the right hand side, and it seems like we do have some good straight line speed here. We have some good straight line speed. We break in time. Purple first sector with that DRS too. And we are rapid. Come on. P10! Ooh, and I. Oh no. I, actually, I think, I think there's still a bit of a gap between P3 and P4. Yep, there is. You can see it on the minimap. You can see it on the minimap. By the way, Ben, if you're still here, I just checked the flipping flights, flight uh, seats, okay, for, for the flight to flip in Bahrain. Oh no, back from Bahrain. And it's already taken, so uh, good, good job on uh, reserving the seat, mate. Well done. Too late now. <laughs> good luck sitting in the middle. I checked all the seats. There's, there's, near, there's not, not even flipping window seat anymore, I don't think. What about on the way there? That's still there. You can still do it. You can still get that one. That one is free. It's like one of the only seats that's still available in the two-seaters. Yeah. Not for long, though. <laughs> Zerlox, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Oh, yo, yo. Come on, we have to get Stroll. Stroll's a little bit slow right now. Stroll's a little bit slow. Okay, you're in the top ten. Tom has been pushing me to book a seat for months. Yeah, literally, because I know it's going to be full. Unless he doesn't want to sit with me. That's fair as well. But just tell me, you sucker. I don't mind. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're going to try and go for the overtake on Lance Turo. Legend, how you doing? Wega, wega, wega. Almost two years. The sad Almost thing two is, years. since him subscribed, Hamilton hasn't won a single race <laughs> Tom the Goldfish. Uh-oh. Well, maybe maybe it's your fault, mate. <laughs> Ever since you subscribed, Hamilton hasn't won a single race. I think that's a sign, mate. I think that is a sign. Erratic Shrek coming in with a 22-month resub at Tier 1. Uh, legendary, man. Thank you so much. And Hamilton will thank you, I think. Or he'll do the opposite. Nah, I'm just lazy. I know you're lazy! I thought I was lazy, but uh, when I met you... <laughs> a whole new world opened up to me, mate. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we have Lando Norris, 1.4 seconds. What airline are you flying? We're flying uh, Tom the Bomb Airlines. <laughs> the bomb airlines the, the same one Ben booked me to Hawaii when he kicked me out of the co-op career the bomb airlines now we're flying British we're flying British very British okay you're creating some breathing space between you Does and it go the into the third gear a few seconds a lap. really good stuff into fourth we are almost back into the DRS actually we Ah, man, we lost out. Oh, we are back in. Ah, oh, we lost out again. No. Ah, we lost out. Fair enough. Okay, we're going to have to get regain in the corner then. Actually, in the meantime, a lot of these drivers have closed in again. There were some battles up in front. Some battles up in front. Oh, man, we lost five tens here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. 1.3 again. 1.3. Uh, no Z C. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? I flew with Ryanair once, and uh, probably gonna be the last time as well, unless it's my only choice. 
I had to run for my plane because Ryanair was two hours late. I had a two and a half hour flipping transfer, which is fine. They were two hours late on a flipping one and a half hour flight or something. That was my first experience with Ryanair. My, my first time running through an air, airfield, almost dying from exhaustion. Oh, who's this? Charles Leclerc, the championship leader, is out of the race, ladies and gents. Oh my goodness. Charles Leclerc is out. This is huge, huge for the championship. Exactly what we needed. And now we need to stay alive and get some good points, guys. Now we need to stay alive and get some good points. I think we're going to have DRS right here. For the first time, we will have DRS. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to try and not utilize too much of the battery. We're going to save a bit of the battery and we're going to go and close in. Come on now. Come on. Beautiful. Goalie. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? In the meantime, you haven't hit that follow button like Goalie has just done. Make sure you do so. You do not want to miss out on any of the future shows. And tomorrow we've got a special one. Because tomorrow we predict the Bahrain Grand Prix by doing it ourselves. With the 2024 F1 cards in the game. Yep, indeed. I'm going to download the mods. And there will be 2024 F1 cards on the screen. And whatever happens in that race will be what's going to happen in real life. It's, it's that easy. You better be there. Tomorrow you will know how the Bahrain Grand Prix will finish. Unless you don't want to know. But it will happen. Alright. Come on, come on. Also, if you want to know the schedule for the entirety of the weeks up until Saudi Arabia, then make sure you join the Discord. Exclamation mark Discord in the chat if you're not yet part of it. Um, that's where the whole community chills out, relaxes, conversates. Let's see. And that's where the schedule is up as well. All right, we're closing in again. Unfortunately, Pierre Gasly in P4 is losing a little bit of pace right here compared to the top three. But we're not even, we don't even have enough pace really to start saving. Okay, Come on! All right, stay close now. We need to get that slipstream. All right, I think we've got a little bit more slipstream this time around. So we're going to be able to stay close. We're going to be able to stay close. I think plenty is possible still. Podium definitely, but... The pace needs to be up here. At the front of this pack, our teammates. He is a bit slow. Another boring season. All right. Let me know right now. Number one in the chat if you think last season was boring. Number two in the chat if you think last season was entertaining. Let's see how many of you thought last season was boring. One, one, two, one, one. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of ones. Two. Two. Besides Max Verstappen winning it dominantly, I thought it was a super entertaining season. Last year was one of the best. And I'm sorry to say it, okay, to all of you who are like, no, it was boring. I, I personally thought it was one of the best. Because we had insane races in 2023. Absolutely insane races. I know we didn't have a championship battle. But... Championship Rich battle isn't everything, right? In my opinion, at least. All right, here we go. We can go for the move now. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Here we go, then. Utilize the battery. And that is up into P7 we go. Push Norris wide. Yes, sir. See you later. Come on. We're up into P7. We had a few insane ones, but plenty of dead ones, too. I don't remember too many dead ones. I think Miami was a bit of a dead one, wasn't it? Uh, what else? 
I think it was mostly bangers compared to previous years. Mostly bangers. At least that's how I remember it. But you know me, my goldfish memory. Uh, I cannot really... If you tell me something that happened last year, I'm, uh, it's completely new to me right now. Right? I don't remember those things. But I remember it as a good season. Vegas was amazing. Right? Vegas was amazing. That was probably the best ever experience I had at the real life Grand Prix. As in like the racing on the track. Like I went to Abu Dhabi 2016. That was awesome. My first race. I was treated with like a championship fight. And in the last few laps like mind games with Hamilton and Vettel and like uh, Rosberg. But uh, Las Vegas, in terms of actual on-track action and seeing like everything happening, that was probably the best. Probably the best. All right, come on. Oh, Gasly pits! Gasly pits already! Pierre is in for a stop. stop. Okay, he's going to go for an undercut. I think that could uh, play out very well, actually. That could play out very well. We might be able to go for a move here on signs. Here we go then, we're gonna do it. Beautiful! We're B5! Absolutely beautiful! Okay, this is good. You're catching the car ahead. Alright. Let's stay here now. With Piastri. I see some big battles happening in front. If they keep doing that, we are gonna be able to close in again. So please keep battling, guys. And then we have a podium position in reach. What is your nationality, Tom? Uh, I am from the Netherlands. Uh, born and raised. I only have one nationality, and that is the Netherlands. Or Dutch. That's my nationality. But I am from the Netherlands. Let me know in the chat, though. Where are you watching from? Right here, right now. If you say French. Okay, well, there you go. Already, people. Yeah. Look, I can speak a little bit of French, right? But I can also speak Italian, Arabic, Turkish, uh, uh, Chinese, everything. Bonjour, mes amis. Hola, mi amigos. Ciao a tutti. Hello, a la zaman. Hello, my friend. Hello, a la mal. Giesas, habari, konnichiwa, ni hao, lai ho. Namaste. Merhaba. There you go. What did he say? Yeah, I said hello. That's what I said. Oh, more people are pitting. More people are pitting right now. We have Piastri. We have other people. And remember, they are now on the soft tire. So we have a big advantage right now. So we have to go for the overtake on the car. Oscar Piastri. And then close in to Russell to the car in front two. If we do that, it'll be good. Come on now. Come on. Yo! Welcome to the family. What's good, you absolute legend? How you doing? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, nine, nine, and nine, coming seven, in with another gift of sub. And another one. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Am does not know when to stop. But Am comes in with a gift of sub to Showy. And another one. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm losing my car. No. Oh my goodness. Three gifted subs from Ab. No, it's not over. It's not over. Another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. App 19997 gifted a tier 1 sub to X underscore to Four gifted subs, ladies and gentlemen, from App. Thank you so much to the community. If you just got gifted, you better thank the flip up in the chat. Right? You know it. Thank you, man. Oh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. A fifth one! To King Peyton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 997 gifted a tier one sub to King underscore Peyton 5000. Oh, they're going to pit. They're going to pit right now, guys. They're going to pit. We're leading. We're leading the race at the moment. We are leading the Belgium Grand Prix. And from last on the grid, come at me. 
Come at me. From last on the grid, we are leading the Belgium Grand Prix. It's not done yet, though. And comes in with another gifted sub. That's six in total right here. Thank you so much, Ab. Ay, ay, ay. And now, you're on top of the leaderboard for this week. Look at that. I can see it. Yep. P1, baby. Leader. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Let's see if we can drive away a little bit. But the tires are also starting to hurt from our side right now. 54%. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. No. No, no. Oh, it was a perfect 360, to be honest. How much time did we lose? How much was it? Oh, four seconds. Are you serious? Are you serious? Bruh, this car is very, very slippery at the moment. With 60% on the tires, we have to start thinking about going into the pits. Uh, pit stop information. Pit stop information. Okay, those tires no. are gonna fall off the cliff soon. Take no, 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 no. Pit stop information, pit stop information. You have to stop once now. One when? Stop left. When? Oh no! No! We pit now! Box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. We're pitting this lap and this lap only for the hard tires. We should have gone one lap earlier and then it would have actually been alright for us. Dang it! All right, three, two, one. Boom. Mac Verstappen with the fastest lap. You can see that undercut was worth it for him. Okay, let's go now. Come on. Perfect job on the turn. Uh, I'm going to be overtaken by a few. Nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Yep. There they are. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. All right, we're right behind of them. We're right behind of them. All right, we got this, baby. We got this. Hard tires for us. To the end. Where can we finish? We're P9 at the moment. Our main championship rival is out. We can still beat Max Verstappen. I think we can do it as well. Let's go for it, baby. These hard tires will, will hold up all the way to the end. Easily. And we're not going to have those shenanigans. Charles Leclerc has DNF'd, and he is our championship rival. He is currently P1 in the championship by 60 points. So we're always going to gain some points over him. But Mac Verstappen is going to close in a little bit in the championship. Nick as well as Bastian. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. The best decision to hit that follow button. Well done. That was a good 360, didn't, wasn't it, guys? That's pretty good, huh? Oi, oi, oi. That was pretty, pretty good. All right, come on now, 2.1. 2.0. They're wrapping on a straight line. Two point zero still. Okay, gaps on the car ahead is two point zero seconds. Normally we're pretty quick over here. Yep, we are. Look at that. We gained about two tenths. But they're gonna have the arrest on each other. They're gonna be so quick. Oh yeah, look at that. One tenth. Two tenths. Three tenths. Four tenths. Oh my goodness, what is this? All right, come on now. I mean, the soft tires would have never worked out because there's too much tire wear, right? So I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know how they're going to go to the end on those medium tires. It's crazy.
We're gaining now. Beautiful. 1.5. The top four is going to be too tough, though. But look at that undercut by Pierre Gasly. That's huge. He's right there with them. We should have done an undercut as well, to be honest. We might be able to get the we might be able to get the DRS here. We're starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making another pit stop. Yep, this is it. DRS! Beautiful! We're increasing uh, let's see what the, the tire wear is on the car in front. Are you doing another race after? No, this is the second one of today, and uh, this will be the last one as well. But tomorrow we have another one. We have the Bahrain Grand Prix, hundred percent long. Uh, driver in front, driver in front. Alonso's ahead of you. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 1.1 seconds. They're Come on, on now. Mediums. Okay, they've got four laps on their tyres. The last lap time was a 145. 145.2. 100% Dutch Grand Prix career next race, please. No, please no. <laughs> don't, don't make me, don't make me do that. A thousand gifted subs. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, a thousand gifted subs, I'll do it. Go on, Dan. Open that wallet, Dan. Come on. We are now right behind of the car, Fernando Alonso. Oh, watch out. But look at that. A little bit of a gap to the Auto McLaren in front. We can potentially still get a P5, maybe P4, you never know, but because most people in front do not really have the um, the arrest anymore. As you go into third, got to the inside. This is it! One more race, please. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. There's, like, I'm not an alien, guys. Sometimes I look like an alien, right? 100 gift, then you got yourself a deal for 100% race. Ah, oh, man. Nah, 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 nah. It's not worth it, man. It's one gift to sub per lap, though. Oh, no, is it? No. That, if I do a 100% race today, that will take another... Two hours, three hours, three hours. It will be almost flipping late evening for me. I'll have to skip dinner. And I only ate a smoothie this morning. Oh, no! I wasn't focused, guys. I was talking about smoothies, man. I wasn't focused. Number one, if I can flashback right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys, I, I swear. Today is not the day, man. We so many mistakes today. So many mistakes. Alex isn't watching. That's it. Don't even dare use the flashback. Ah, oh, I don't know, man. If we don't, we're lost. Still have some laps to go, you know? Wait, what, what's happening? Why is it going to the, bi the big screen, guys? Wait, what's this sound? That's, what's happening? Yo, what is this? What's happening? Oh my goodness. Huh? That's crazy. Oh, what? We're back. No way. All right, come on. Let's go. We're right behind of the car of Fernando Alonso. That was weird. That was really, really weird. That was weird. All right, come on now. Let's go. We have got seven laps to go, ladies and gents. We're in P9. That's a really, really weird glitch, guys. Really weird glitch. It's a bit weird, was it? Dirty cheater. Ay, 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 ay. It was a glitch. Interesting. 
All right. We need to get past these two. Otherwise, we're not going to close in to the top of the field. We can still get a P4 out of this. You can see Pierre Gasly does not have the pace at the moment. We're going to try and go up the inside of the car of Alonso. Oh my goodness, a little bit of a tap with the car of Norris. Drifting through the turn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. That would have been... That would have been damage. Almost again. And if we did that, I would have kept it. Alright, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do any more uh, game glitches. No more game glitches. Alright, come on now. Oh my goodness, big moment again. Jesus! I'm on a rampage today. Holy moly! I'm on a flipping rampage today. All right, we're up at the P7. If only I did that in the creator series, huh? If only. Oi, oi, oi. No touchy touchy though. No touchy touchy. So that's good. That is good. All right, now we need to close into these uh, cars in front. Best we can do is the P4 at the moment. Pierre Gasly is right there. I think he's actually going side by side almost with the car of Ferrari, Carlos Sainz. I woke up this morning and chose violence. Yeah, I think so as well. Well, luckily we can get it out of the way now. You know? Otherwise, I would have reacted it to Ben uh, in a couple of days. You know? He don't want that. <laughs> okay, he don't want that. In the third gear. And it's now 1.3. P4 is still possible. Maybe even a podium. I'm not going to lie. You never know what will happen. Maybe they're going to fight. You never know. 1.1 seconds. I'm going to lose some time now. Come on. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.6 seconds. 1.6 seconds. 1.3 actually now. So we are gaining time to Oscar Piastri. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think we can get ourselves into P4 still? A little bit wide right there. Are you going to do a Bahrain vlog? Yes, I'm going to be doing a Bahrain vlog. I'm also doing some uh, short content on TikTok, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. As well as um, I'm going to be live in Bahrain. I'm going to be live in Bahrain. Um, debriefing, previewing in the hotel room or at the track. But pro the track will probably be a bit tough because there's a lot of rules and stuff. And uh, also... At the track, uh, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit hard. All right, here we go. Also with internet, obviously. But I bought a cell cellular 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 data plan. There you go. All right, come on. Nine tenths, nine tenths. Front wing damage coming soon. No, no, I disagree. I disagree. Come on now. Daniel Ricciardo's out. Come on. Safety car. Safety car. Safety car. Safety car. Give me a safety car. Safety car. No. They are not giving us a safety car. Okay, then. What time is it where you are right now? It is at the moment uh, 5 p.m. Or almost 5 p.m. Almost 5 p.m. Gasly is helping us a lot. Helping us a lot. What is the most liked race you've ever watched? Ooh. Well, I mean, in real life, 100% Las Vegas. For the race itself. For the experience, probably Hungary. Because I was with uh, Alpine in the paddock for Hungary, which was uh, first... And so far, last as well. 
the most recent. All right, come on now. What season is it in the career mode? You're joining in right now to season one of our F1 driver career mode because we became the champions with Tombina. She is our sister. She has the same genes. She looks almost identical with long hair, okay? Basically. Long hair and no uh, moustache, right? The same genes. And we are now in season one trying to fight for the championship with Alpine as we were an Alpine Academy driver. Pierre Gasly is well doing very well as well. Our car is, has been upgraded a lot to be able to, uh, to battle for these positions right here. Science goes for the move, so we immediately need to follow Carlos Sainz. So we're going to do that. We're going to try and go for the overtake on the car. Piastri. Piastri wants to come back on the left-hand side. Gasly comes back as well. Goes over the grass. We actually just about hit the car. Piastri as well. We're side by side with Piastri. Gasly is side by side with Sainz. As we keep her going. Keep her flowing. We're going to go and see if we can go around the other side. Maybe. Hey. Oh, my. Bruh. Carlos Sainz shunts us mid-turn to almost completely wipe us out. But we just about keep it on the track. Jesus, big movements on the wheel, and we uh, we barely keep it on the track right here. Carlos Sainz is back to P5. It is Gasly in P4, but I think that was it. That was literally it. That was us being out right here. That was us being out of the race in Belgium after 19 laps. I don't know why he cut it inside that much, but we were literally, we were there. Uh, Kai's H, take with a follow as well. What's up? I'm the family. Ooh, let me go a bit wide here. We have to get closer again now because science is rapid. Science is rapid at the moment. Yeah, he's doing what he does. <laughs> he's doing what he has to do to help Leclerc because Leclerc, of course, is the championship leader. Okay, we've got four laps of fuel and he is the only Ferrari who's out on track still because Leclerc has retired in this race. So we're going to get a big heap of points if we manage to overtake both Sainz and Gazali. Multi-69, Gazali. Multi-69, you have to help us to get in a good position no for the championship. Come on. For good. Is this code word for yes or is this just, Tom, we did not receive the message. Go absolutely do it yourself. All right, come on. Yeah, literally, we always have an incident with science. It's always science, man. It's crazy. Science goes to the left hand side. We stay behind. We can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. Gasly has been overtaken now. We have to do a re overtake. He's on those hard tires as well. We go around the other side, but Gasly is really holding us up now. Gasly! Stop fighting us so much. As we go on the outside this time, we have to stay close to science, but now it's a bit of a gap. Nine tenths of a second. All right, we're paused, and now we're up to P5. Science is going to be rapid, though, in, uh, in, cl in clean air, so it will be tough to stay close. I think to Science. A warm welcome for joining in just now. My name is Tom. People also call me The Bomb. Please only call me The Bomb when we're not in a secure location or an event or anything like that, because that is not the way to go no airports no events please that would be great but outside of that i am tom the bomb okay but here we go we are seven tenths behind oh carlos signs let's see let's see what we can do two laps to go two laps to go ladies and gents are you team signs or are you team tombina what do we think here? Who is going to get that P4? What do you think here? All right, all right, all right. Team Tombina. Team Signs. All right, we have to save a bit of the battery. Well, we are behind of signs. I think we have the pace, but signs is rapid right now. Signs is rapid right now. Come on now, come on. Come on, come on. Five tenths. 
One more left to go. We have to save up, but I think Sign saved up more. Who will it be? We have driven away now from Piastri, so it's between of Sainz and us. Our man's got the pace. He's got the farthest left as well. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, we need to utilize a little bit here. Okay, not too much, not too much, not too much. Come on. Are we in the wake right now? I think we are a little bit in the slipstream. Yep, we are. We're gaining time. That's good, that's good. A warm welcome in to the last lap. Lap 21 out of 22. This is it. Will we do it? Okay, mate. Final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. Let's not bring it home. Let's get before. Here we go then. We're there. We're there. This has to be it. This has to be it, right? This has to be it. DRS opens up to the left hand side. Oh my goodness, he almost he almost pinched us on the grass. He's there on the right. We're gonna go okay, to the left. So the Science the goes for ahead. the inside once more. Right. We Point remain on the outside. Science still there. We have to leave a little bit of space, but however, now we have the space, and that means we are in P4. However, I'm gonna save the battery. You saw we didn't use too much of the battery because I know he's gonna use everything and everything on the last and final straight. Because we're not a lot quicker than science right now. Look at this. Look at the speed he has. He's right there. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Remain on the inside. On Carlos Sainz. Sainz goes deeper. But by going deeper, he loses the position once again. All right. This is going to be the important one. This trade is going to be the important one. Sainz is going to be quick, I think. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look at the overspeed for Carlos Sainz. We broke him. We have 31% remaining still. Come on, utilize it. Utilize it. Utilize it. We're going to go defensive on the inside. Sainz goes a little bit go aggressive then on the outside, which becomes the inside right there. We go around the outside once again. Get a better traction zone. Utilize the battery to get p Four. And that's the end of the race. And that is how you play a battle in the last and final laps with a car that was quicker at this point of the race. We are a driver of the day because we came from P20 to P4. And that is very valuable points because Charles Leclerc, Charles Leclerc retired. And he, of course, had a lot of points over us. Of course, Max Verstappen still finished in front of us. He won the race for that matter, but... Well, I don't think he gained as many points to the point where the he track. overtakes us in the championship. Cool, even uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you haven't yet hit that follow button, make drivers, sure you do so. Tomorrow, to we will do a 100% race around uh, Bahrain with the 2024 F1 cards. Yes, sir. Indeed. And then the we predict what's going to happen in real life. It's 100% long. Javi, apparently DMA is with a Zepiri. Jess Lloyd, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Boom. You owe it to us one more race. I do. And we will ha make it happen tomorrow. Yep. 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 <laughs> so you better be there. All right. You better be there. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. And then I, after that, on Wednesday, I go to Bahrain. I'm excited. I'm excited. What car are you driving with the 2024 F1 card? Good question, Brian. Uh, most likely the Alpine, but maybe we can uh, choose tomorrow. Maybe we do like a vote. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's see where we are in the driver the championship. 12 points the in the end. Standards. Pierre Gasly, 11. Leader is still sat oh, of, of course. Yeah. Charles Leclerc got 8 points over today. us, guys. He so won the rest, he won the Who sprint race. He won the sprint race. Austin, my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an uh, especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Yeah. It's time to see All right, well, let's advance then. Let's advance. Long break means longer streams. I will say, though, there is a diminishing effect on my energy, and that diminishing effect is reaching 100% right now. I'm tired. <laughs> that means if I do another race, uh, it's not going to be as fun as it normally is, okay? And we, do, we don't do 90%, okay? We do flipping 110 every single time.
and not as in the AI, but as in flipping the show, right? Because you're not here watching a stream, you're watching a show. Yo. And tomorrow, the show will return. But I appreciate the excitement, guys. Um, all right, let's see where we are. Round 14 out of 23 is the next one. Uh, this week, there's no more F1 driver career. Uh, once I come back from uh, Bahrain, there will be more F1 driver career. But don't fret, because I'll be live in Bahrain as well. Not with the F1 game, obviously, but with me being in Bahrain. We are up in the car quite nicely here, and it's looking like we have a top top contending car at the moment, as you can see. In the standings, we are P3, because Max Verstappen has overtaken us. We are now 48 points behind of shot. I can't count again. 58 points. Wait, what? 48? Wait, what? 48 points. That's not bad. 48 points behind of Charles Leclerc. That's two race wins or less even. So we are gaining now, but Max Verstappen is also in that fight. And that is where we're going to leave it off because it's a season break. And that means there's also a break for us. That's not that long. Don't worry. It's not that long of a season break. But... I want to know from you in the chat right now on a scale of 1 to 10. How epic was today's show? If you don't put a number 11, you're absolutely banned. 